Hello, hello everyone. How's it going? Welcome to Super Mario World. Now, one second, uh, I do have to set up some stuff before we actually go. Yeah, that's what the pre-stream thing is for, but then I still managed to uh, mess things up. So I didn't charge my phone, which was dumb, uh, but I also don't have, like, Wi-Fi. <laughs> so maybe my phone will die in the middle of the stream, so I, I won't be able to see chat, but for now it's fine. 10% usually gets me through, like, a day and a half. Uh, in my opinion, Super Mario World is one of the top three best Super Mario games ever. Yeah, and in 2D games, I think the only one that surpasses it... Well, okay, I have... I have personally a lot of nostalgia for uh, Super New Super Mario Bros. U. But... I don't know if I'd put that above this game. I don't think I would, because I have nostalgia for this game as well. I used to play this... Uh, so way back when... I'm actually gonna turn down my uh, my audio a little bit on my end. Uh, so way, way back when, uh, I, th there was like, I, I think this still exists, there was a website, uh, which was like playretrogames.com or something like that, like something really basic, like it was, it was literally just a, as a result of me typing in like play retro games on, on Google uh, as a, as like an eight year old, and it was like a bunch of retro games, including like, you know, Mario, I, I don't think they have Mario games in there anymore because they probably got like a cease and desist. Uh, but I played, like, Mario games on there, I played a, a bunch of Mario World, a bunch of Mario 3, a bit of Mario 1, I didn't really like Mario 1 that much back then. Still, it's kind of... it's a bit it's a bit of a basic game. Uh, but... I also played Sonic 2 a lot there, I remember. Uh, so yeah, th th that's the way that I have nostalgia for this game. But in terms of, like, quality of Mario games, yeah, I think the only one that you could probably make an argument of being better is Wonder, I guess. And even then, there's there's discussion to be had on that topic. But yeah, let's let's get into it. Uh, the reason I'm playing this, so we're going to be playing it with a little bit of more of an eye for design, um, because funnily enough, I'm playing this for school. Uh, we uh, for the game theory class, we are uh, we're required to make like we we had basically a list of games that was basically like pick one of these uh, and do like a like a full inspection on every element of the game uh for for this game and the there were a few options i was like yeah i'm fine with this one of them was mario world one was mario 3 and i was like okay if i'm gonna pick one i'm gonna pick mario world because i'm just more familiar with it uh so we're gonna be looking a little bit in in the design so yeah on the world map you can't really do much it's just like move towards the next thing and it automatically moves you i don't think this is very relevant to the main conversation to be having here. Uh, I don't know how much level design is a thing here, but I've, I've thought about this so many times. The Koopa goes down the slope. Why? <laughs> like, the beginning of this of this level just is so weird and different from what most... Like, even, even you know, Mario Wonder has, like, you know, you have block bricks and, and, and blocks and stuff, and here you have, like, a, a, a bonsai bill and, like, dinosaurs. Like, that, that's part of the uh, the creativity of this game, just like, yeah, there's just stuff here. Uh, one thing to remember is, uh, I don't think rushed is the right term for this, but Mario World was developed pretty quickly. I believe, it, I, I don't remember how long the full development time was, but okay, I actually know how that works, the mushroom thing. So there's a couple of locations here. I think it's just a line of three. So there's, there's a couple of places like that in the game where if you stand in, the, in specific places, it will spawn something, which is really cool. And I'm surprised not more like ROM hacks use that. I've actually not played much in terms of ROM hacks before. So here, yeah, also, yeah, maybe I should... <laughs> Maybe I should actually look at the design thing that I was gonna say I was I was gonna do. So yeah, the uh, the turn blocks from above can only be broken by Big Mario with a spin jump, which means that you need to have a mushroom. So this is a reward basically for keeping your mushroom and not getting hit. Same thing here. Also basically teaching you that you can do that because you're gonna you're sort of gonna be messing around with the buttons a lot uh, in in the first level. Yeah, these these blocks. I've never actually read these. You can hold an extra item in the box at the top of the screen, yeah. Uh, this is one of my least favorite features of this game. I genuinely think the game is not worse because of it, because you can just skip it, but like... This is this is where the tutorializing of Nintendo games kind of started. Uh, and I'm not the biggest fan of that. Yeah, that was, as well. There's a slope, you can, you can press down on that. 
in terms of like you know control mario is actually you know you you think it's pretty simple but it really isn't mario world has a lot of mechanics uh okay i wasn't supposed to do it like that that's that's actually a little bit of a trick to make that easier but yeah you can see as well the monop mushroom goes above the clouds and it will fall down here if you are not fast enough it falls down the pit uh, so you need to make sure you snag it midair. Okay, we don't have that much time left. Maybe, maybe hurry up a little. Yeah, that's the issue with like um, trying to analyze the design of this game. There's a timer. Yeah, again, a bit like this level is the the early Mario World levels are sort of weird in terms of design. Um, did you ever play Super Mario 63? It was a flash game. I have not. I think. Maybe I have, but it was not for very long, if I did. And then you can also see, you know, on the world map you have the option of the of playing the left level or the right level. The right level you can see immediately goes to the castle. This one goes somewhere else. And it's completely optional, but you can go into the yellow switch palace, which makes a lot of levels easier. There's multiple of these uh, yellow, uh, or just not yellow, but just in general switch palaces. Uh, how's bitrate looking as well? Might turn up the bitrate as well. Uh, that might be a thing to do, actually. Uh, it doesn't matter. I was thinking, like, maybe I could use this footage because I need to make, like, a video uh, of this eventually. But, like, I can replay some Mario World levels. That's not a, that's not a big deal. I can replay all of them anyway. Uh, the backup item system is really cool. Appreciated by 90s gamers everywhere. Yeah, in this game, it's done really well. In Wonder, it's not done as well, in my opinion. Uh... It's mainly just, it makes the game easier, and in a game like this, Mario World is sort of made to be approachable for beginners, but also uh, difficult for veterans of the series. That is not as much the case of Mario Wonder. I feel Wonder is too, and yeah, this is becoming a critique of Wonder now, and I do want to do a full review of Wonder one day. It's going to be a, be a while until that happens. Um, but yeah, so you can immediately go to this level if you want. And this level seems to make a lot more sense design-wise. So here you can see... Yeah, there's... Uh, they, they specifically put the Koopas there and a shell there, so you can just kill all of them and get a 1-up, so that also teaches you. Nintendo's really good at teaching you... Uh, st like, Nintendo can teach the player by just smartly putting some stuff around. And that's why I think the, the text boxes and stuff are kind of pointless. Because, like, you Nintendo can just teach you by with gameplay, you know? When you have, you know, some Koopas here, sort of some, some basic... You know, it also teaches you you can eat the uh, the berries. And yeah, you have the, the football player. This level's a lot more focused than, than the uh, Dinosaur... Dinosaur Land? I... Uh, Dinosaur Land one? I don't know. I don't know what the full thing's called. Yeah, getting another Yoshi egg when you're when you're on Yoshi gives you a one up. Then then we kinda halfway through, uh, a little bit before halfway through, we get introduced to the gimmick of the stage, which is moles. Also, I just went up here. Some of this is such such hard muscle memory. Some of this is legitimately just like I cannot not do that, you know? Oh, I'm very good at video games. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, you can eat eat the berries. Eating, I think it's eight berries will get you a, a thing, like a mushroom or a fire flower. And like you have different tiers of berries as well. And this is interesting. Uh, this is introduced sort of earlier than you would expect. Oh, God. oh no, no, Yoshi! <laughs> Okay, so this is introduced earlier than you expect, but you have uh, a P-Switch, which turns these blocks into uh, activated blocks. And that also shows you, if you go to- how did I get two lives there? <laughs> if you go to the top of the uh, of the flagpole, or- I, I, what is it actually called in this game? I legitimately don't remember. I remember, I, I remember knowing what it was called. Uh, it's, it's different than flagpole, but you get what I mean. Well, that, like, uh, reaching it, reaching the top of it will get you more star points, which is going to be relevant in a second. You know, you think it's a pretty simple game, but you put all these things together, and you make a list of them, and you go, wow, that's actually a lot. You know, even just movement is like, yeah, you can move, you can run, you can jump, but you can also hold stuff, throw stuff, throw stuff up, uh, spin jump. On Yoshi, you have a completely different moveset with the tongue. There's a lot here. Uh, one thing that I do want to do, and I don't know if I can do that in the middle of the stream, is increasing bitrate. 
I remember I, I was able... Yeah, no, video bitrate... Oh, it is on 3000. Okay, that's fine. I don't think YouTube's complaining uh, to me about that at the moment. Yeah, no, I th you, 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 YouTube's fine. YouTube's fine. Yeah, 3000, that's plenty. Uh, so, yeah. It just seems kind of low quality on my... Uh, Phone preview. That's because it's on data saver. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what if we what if we go to uh, sorry sorry about this. I'm, I'm... higher picture quality 360p. Ah yes. <laughs> Come on lads, you're on Ethernet. You can do this. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, anyway, yeah, learning by do um, by doing is one of my favorite things about old Nintendo games. Oh, Nintendo still does that. Believe a me, Nintendo is still capable of doing that. I think Nintendo has gotten worse at it, in terms of like... So yeah, here you can see the boons of our uh, yellow blocks here. Because we activated them, we can go over here and collect three whole coins. No, it's a little bit more relevant later on. Um, and... Yeah, this is the gimmick of this level. So we're starting to see a bit of that modern Nintendo design philosophy in this game. Because Mario 3 sometimes still has a bit of... A bit of issues with like settling down on one gimmick and this level has two basically as well it has the uh the, the rotating platforms and the extending blocks basically um get another another one up we're, we're doing pretty well in lives here as well yeah if you eat different koopa shells you get different effects in this game mario maker actually does not replicate that behavior uh yeah if you have some more platforms so that was a lot less focused than I remember, but still, it, there's there's a couple of gimmicks that goes like, yeah, l let's explore different types of platforms, essentially, and that's the uh, the idea for for this level. And yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna go through all of these uh, message blocks or whatever. And you can see, you have uh... there we go. We have we have a reserve fire flower. So go up here, and I think it's from this point somewhere you can see. Why am I doing this on the most difficult thing? Yeah, so you can see down there, there were some uh, dotted line blocks that have turned into these blocks. Uh, yeah, you can see down here. So that means that if I didn't get the yellow switch palace, I would have died if I just, you know, jumped down here. That's another uh, thing here where if you explore, you can make the game easier. Where somehow, Somehow, Nintendo brings in Metroidvania elements into a Mario game, and then doesn't do anything like it for another 30 years. It's re like, that's really cool. Having, you know... And Nintendo tries this in some forms, you know, Nintendo has like an easy mode item. But I think Nintendo's scared of making easy mode stuff inaccessible. Because getting all the Switch Palaces is not easy. But it's not easy in terms of mechanical difficulty, it's you have to find that. And I think that's fine, you know, it's a different type of difficulty, and if you want one to be easier, you can make the other one more difficult. Oh yeah, as well, those dotted line blocks, the yellow ones give you mushrooms, I think the other colors give you some stuff as well. Uh, this level's gimmick is kind of the water here, uh, but also, you know, some platforms on there. We have a, we have a bit of stuff. Uh, yeah, as well, these... Mines? Spikes? Water spikes, I guess? Um, I didn't even talk about the dragon coins yet, we're gonna get into that in a, in a second. Yeah, this area has always been kind of weird to me, because this assumes you don't have Yoshi in. Because if you spin jump off Yoshi, you- and maybe that's on purpose, but if you spin jump off Yoshi, you spin jump and you fire, uh, like, some thingies. So, I have to go back, spin jump off Yoshi, Probably despawn him in the process, and only then can I up throw this shell. And you have to know that you can up throw, and only then can you skip falling into the water. Now that's not a not a massive issue. You know, falling into the water is is not a problem. What, wasn't there a star somewhere here? Oh yeah, and that block. Do you think Yoshi's despawned? No, he's still there. I mean, I <laughs> I didn't actually expect that. Um, I believe there's a fire flower in this box. Oh, this is further back than I, than I thought. Yeah. One thing that's kind of weird about this game's implementation of swimming is to get out of water, you need to press up and jump. Which is kind of unexpected. So yeah, here you have a star, which allows you to kill fish. 
Uh, but again, this kind of teaches you if, you if you keep doing this, I probably won't be able to, but if you do this fast enough, you can get a one-up. Ah, oh, just, no, I'm, yeah, I'm not, I wasn't going to risk that. But yeah, so you can get a one-up. I've, I've done that before a few times. Oh god, wait. There we go. Sorry, I'm, I'm not reading chat enough, am I? Uh... I wasn't expecting a stream today, a pleasant surprise to be sure. Uh, yeah, I think it was yesterday Dylan asked about, like, uh, what was going to stream or not. Oh yeah, as well, if you get enough of those star points from the flag, you can get... I've gotten pretty good at timing these. God damn it, god damn it, he says, why did I have to open my mouth? Ah, <laughs> uh, I have enough lives anyway. But yeah, an interesting way to reward the player, for sure. Because there's no direct reward for getting the top of the flagpole. It's just, like, un unlike... Um, actually, no, I'm saying that. But Mario 1 actually doesn't give you a 1-up when you hit the top of the flagpole. In Mario 3, you can't get... No. If you get the same thing three times in a row. Yeah. So, they, they were kind of experimenting with end-of-level stuff. You know, we... We think so naturally about the... Uh, about the flagpole, because the new Super Mario Bros. series told us that. In this era, there wasn't really anything like that. You know, the flagpole was in Mario 1, sure, but it... Th there was no specialty to that, because Mario 2 had a different level ending, Mario 3 had a different level ending, Mario the World has a different level ending. It was only with new Super Mario Bros. that the flagpole was reintroduced. So... Oh god. World 1. I remember playing these so often, because I, I... You know, that online thing didn't have a save feature. I believe Mario World does have a save feature in the original hardware. But I, I never played with that. Because I, I played through a shitty online emulator, so I, I, I'm very familiar with these early levels. Uh, you can see, you know, the crushes here. Get the fire flower, okay. Oh god. I'm usually on the other side of that. <laughs> to be careful. Ooh, okay, yeah. And then the boss fight is actually quite clever. This is, in my opinion, one of the most clever boss fights in the game. Uh, the other ones are pretty good, but basically, he only goes down on the direction that the platform is facing. Which is pretty clever, in my opinion. It's, it's not difficult. But it's also not incredibly easy, it's not like mindless or anything, it's not like the new Super Mario Bros. series, where every Koopaling is basically the same. This is, you know, the Koopalings in this game are actually really interesting, in terms of gameplay. Uh, some of the other ones are sometimes like duplicates of each other, but this is probably one of my favorite gimmicks. And this, uh, this little thing at the end of the world, this returned in Mario Wonder. And it's kind of fun to, to go back to this game and see like what's different in Mario Wonder. I actually want to play Mario now, but I can't because no Bluetooth Wi-Fi card built into my shitty Dell. Um, well, you don't need internet. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, where do you where do you get these games? You know, I'm I'm not gonna say where I got these games, but I do own the original Mario World. Uh, so it's like. Do, do you really care, Nintendo? I have an original cartridge on my Super Nintendo. Just the issue is, I'm not gonna plug a Super Nintendo. In. Oh yeah, that's right. That's how that works. I have not died yet at all, have I? Um, I'm gonna go. I do want a. Oh, oh Yoshi! Yoshi, get back here! Wait, does he respawn? No. He's <laughs> the guy with the cape feather, he's dead. No, oh, there's another one here, don't worry. Come on, spawn. Like, yeah, I know these love- Really? Killing with a fireball also doesn't? You have to jump on him, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. The thing is, I've- You know, I always die before reaching here, so I, like, I have no idea about that. Yeah, then you have- oh, there's, there's another one there. Uh, but you have this room, which is a really weird way to do- Oh, please. Oh, 
to do rewards. So it's completely random every time. It's it's completely different. Oh my god. Am I oh my god. Two in a row. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh <gasps> let's go. No! I I knew it. I knew I should have gone for that. <sighs> yeah, so you can kind of see how it works. Really simple. Somehow really, really rewarding. Okay, first things first. Let's spin jump off. Make sure I actually jump on this guy. Where is he? Oh, wait, yeah, I'm in a different pipe there. <laughs> Where is Mr... There he is. This is where he should spawn. Oh, there's a checkpoint! Okay, wow, we skipped over a lot of the level, didn't we? No, like... <sighs> oh, no. This, I'm, look, I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Okay, let's let's not get greedy. Let's not get greedy. Oh, you already got the mushroom. Nice. Let's not get greedy. Okay. I'm going to get get greedy. <laughs> there we go. Finally. Like, I just wanted to show, you know, the, the cool new power-up, which actually works differently when you're in Yoshi. So, this power-up is pretty difficult to- oh. Oh, yeah, wait, no, this is actually a place I want to go, but I've lost Yoshi now. Either way, um, this power- this is probably the best room to show this. Uh, this power-up is pretty difficult to master. I never really understood how this power-up works, the, uh, the cape feather. And you can see I'm still kind of bad at it. Like, I, 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 I lose altitude pretty quickly. I believe you need to press left and right. Uh, but yeah, you can... Okay, wait, wait, wait. I want to get more of the coins. I probably don't have time for it. But yeah, you can, you can kind of... And Nintendo's really good at these kinds of, like, rooms where you can just kind of explore. Uh, or mo not, not explore, it's more... Uh, hold on, what's, what's the term for it? Get used to certain mechanics, I guess. Yeah, but it's 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 not easy to keep your altitude with this. Like, you have to be, be pretty good at it. And that's the thing, it's a very skill-based power-up. I've sort of... Sort of changed my mind about this power-up, largely. Uh, because I used to think it was kind of like... You know, the raccoon leaf is, is basically the same, but... Some... Oh, God. Uh, I need I need to go to the end of the level. The raccoon leaf is basically the same, but with like simpler to understand controls. You just kind of spam a button. But the skill-based nature of this really helps it. Oh please, please, please! Really helps it um, like stand out and be more of a logical power up with this. Oh wait, 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 wait! Yeah, let's get the secret exit. No. Wait, I know I can do this. Can the baseball player please stop? <laughs> oh, come on. I'm like, I'm like barely too little space. I love how I press the shoulder button here. There we go. So yeah, uh, uh, flying with Yoshi is slightly different. In that you just gain a lot of momentum vertically. Which is kind of the same how it normally works. This is actually usually the path I take instead of the normal one. Though, we're gonna go back to this level and actually beat it the way we're supposed to. Uh, because actually, you could see there was the green switch palace there, the green, the green dotted line blocks. And, uh, let's kind of go through this a little bit quicker this time. Where there were, yeah, the, the green dotted line blocks. And the idea would be that if you have those and don't have the cape feather, or like don't know how to use the cape feather, I'm so sorry, Yoshi, that was a two block pit. I even lost my power up in reserve there. <laughs> That's so sad. Right, these enemies are also kind of like quite. Everything's quite novel. I feel. Um, like, stuff just kind of... They, they, they try things, and they just plonk it in, into a level. And somehow it works. It feels like effortless spam, you know? But, like, really good. I, 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 I don't mean that as a, as, a, as a bonk against the game, but, like... A lot of levels don't really have much of a defining theme in this game, yet they work incredibly well. 
it's really impressive. Some levels are pretty much like the way modern Mario levels are, like one gimmick. You can see at the end here there was really not much we missed. But... Wait, let's get a let's get a high one. There we go, twenty nine. That that could have been better. <laughs> uh and I will never play Mario on a keyboard. Ah, yes. Yeah, yeah, keyboard. I didn't think of that. <laughs> well, you don't need Bluetooth for that. You can, well, for, you can, of course, use wired controllers, but even even though I'm just using 2.4 gigahertz on like an 8 bit controller. I like my Switch for uh, a controller. I have a wireless dongle, though. You could try that. Try using that. I remember playing this level all the time. <laughs> Yeah, so what's interesting here is uh, it basically takes like a gimmick that's been seen before in a very limited sense in the castle, where there was the oh, there was the thing that was like going down and like smashing the the ground. Uh, this is kind of similar to that, but then they give the give these parts of the level like shape, and you can see. Well, in this case, it doesn't really matter too much, but. And an auto-scrolling underground level is very interesting. I'm 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 not looking as much to like the uh, the design anymore. I'm feeling, but I, I I should. But it's it's kind of there is no like one. Okay, I was trying to go into the pipe, but I didn't. There is no really one thing holding this together. Which makes it all the more impressive that it like just works. I think you can see, you know, sort of like, you know, okay, this level has buzzy beetles and, and bats, you know, but, but that's just like kind of keeping it with the underground theme. I think they're, I think they're called swoopers. Wait, sorry, if you eat one of these shells, you just eat them? Wow, I that's different from Mario Maker. I didn't know that was the case. I didn't think I've ever made it to this level with Yoshi. I've like <laughs> How infrequently I've made it here without dying once. <laughs> Maybe I have become better at video games. Well, no, it's also just because I've played this level a ton. <laughs> but the main thing that you can see, and I think this is the main thing that's already the case in this game, but also, you know, it only becomes even more apparent as the games go on. Uh, I think this is kind of the game where it starts, where a mechanic is introduced in the beginning of a level, sort of, kind of, in a safe environment. Now, this is crushes, so you can't really introduce them in a completely safe environment. But then that gets evolved into a more difficult thing. I think I also missed a lot there in that level. There's a lot of... Yeah, a lot of secrets. A lot of, a lot of exploration. Uh, a lot more than Mario 3. A lot more. Ah, uh, the, the ghost house. Wait, let's do the, uh... So the uh, the old the old classic. Oh come on! How am I supposed to dodge that? Oh, come on! Come on! Let's do the old classic. Holy hell! That blue almost killed me just now. Okay, wait. Let's go back like this. I almost hit the same guy again. <laughs> yeah, this is just a secret exit. It might actually be pretty useful to get this one because this is a super secret area. Or something like that, that's what it's called. Let's get a bunch of one-ups. Also, I love how they're like semi-transparent. You know, translucency is not an easy thing to do on Super Nintendo hardware, and I'm actually impressed that it's like fully fully functional. Wait, did Oh my god, Vanta, wait! <laughs> Thank you so much, <laughs> Sandal Channel making data influence. That's your first super chat as well. Thank you so much, Vanta. Thank you so much. The true Australian. I don't know why I didn't hear a hear a notification for it. Usually I hear a thing for it. Um, like I hear it like I hear a thing if someone subscribes, so I'd be very surprised if I don't hear something when someone super chats. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for that, event. Uh, let's 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 continue on for now. Uh, yeah, this level is also kinda weird in terms of design, where it's you know, a lot of the boos are kind of RNG, and yeah, okay, so the first area is just kind of like show off the, the boos. The, the boos. <laughs> no, we're not drinking. And uh, this also shows that there's something in this block, funnily enough. Uh, that's not really relevant, like, not that much, I think. 
Oh, I don't remember what it was. So the, the ghost house levels are really interesting in the way that they are. Oh, yeah, that's the sound effect. That's the sound effect for Vanto's super chat. Oh, yeah, also you can control these. I never knew this. So I think you can make like a path upwards. Or something. I don't know. It's just some coins. Okay. But it's like, it's. I, I never knew that. Like the fact that you can control them. Really interesting. This game just feels like they they, they 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 tried everything and somehow they like fully succeeded. You know? Like the new Super Mario Bros. games are a lot easier to I guess dissect because they're a lot like, tighter in design. But this game is still really good while not having that. I think it's also important to look at games like this, where it's like, there is no one design philosophy. But that's fine. Because it's still really good, so it's like, you, you can look at, outside of that design philosophy, what makes this game good. You know, because this, the, the design philosophy as a variable has been basically removed completely. Sure, everyone has their own design philosophy, I, I think this there is still a philosophy here. But it's not as obvious as in New Super Mario Bros, where you can see a level's built up out of these ele elements, this is how it evolves. This game doesn't have that as much, but it's still really interesting. Uh, I'm going to get some popcorn chicken in the oven. I shall return momentarily. Have fun with the popcorn chicken. I've never heard of that before, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh yeah, this level. Okay, so this level is probably the anth uh, antithesis to what I just said because this level feels very modern Mario also I believe yes this makes this makes Yoshi fly so the blue one makes Yoshi fly uh, I'm not gonna keep using that though because I think that's kind of unfair to this level <laughs> oh no wait there was a thing up up there wait is there a... okay there's I don't think there's anything relevant up here let's go back I don't want to skip anything Paul Cooper. <laughs> Just got absolutely obliterated. So the main gimmick for this level is these rotating platforms, and then these ones which rotate on a track. Uh, kind of interesting. You, you can see they kind of kind of evolve. Uh, you, I, I believe you do for design have to look sort of on a larger scale to these levels because you'll one thing you'll see, and this is also the case in, in later levels, uh, and I think this is generally something that every Mario game does pretty well, where a mechanic gets introduced and it gets sort of more difficult as time goes on. You can see now there's a fuzzy on the track, but not just that. Uh, safe areas, basically just ground, uh, gets less and less common as you go on. It's like anywhere where it's like completely safe all the time, you can just stand still. And it also, you know, depends on like what counts as that. We have another, we have another little... Wow, okay. <laughs> Same, okay, let's, you know what? let's just keep going left to right. Oh, no. Okay, no, I don't think my left to right strategy is working. Oh, no, it's working pretty well. Oh. <laughs> Okay, uh, six people here, thank you so much. Uh, so you can kind of see, uh, yeah, also, that one only has two arms. But yeah, what counts as safe? Because you can see that, that small mushroom platform that was left of me right there. Um, it's, it's a pretty small platform that's not very easy to land on, but more specifically, a platform in and of itself can be of any, any number can be any number of... can have any number of feelings attached to it. And that, that, that that's maybe a weird term to use for it. Where I don't, maybe feelings isn't the right... like, vibe? I don't know. But what I'm actually talking about here, what I'm actually referring to with my, uh... my absolutely insane mental speech... No. <laughs> is that you can have a platform that is very stable. That is, the entirety, like, you know, ground tiles, for example. I think this level might have a few. Yeah, you can see at the bottom, that's ground tiles. It's very stable, very safe. That feels very safe. This game has, you know, mushroom platforms as well. Oh, no, oh, I forgot about this guy. Yeah, that's the thing. They just kind of were like, you know, let's add stuff. Let's just, let's just have have a go of it. Have, have fun with it. Uh, and that's something I can respect about this game. Uh, but anyway, you can see, you know, the ground tiles feel very safe, very, you know, they're, they're part of the environment, obviously. And the mushroom tiles from the last level don't really feel like that. 
Because that's, I think one of these you can go with the pipes, but it doesn't it really matter. Uh, and that really depends. Like, if you make a floating platform, that floating platform is going to be going to feel less stable than a like a, like a platform attached to the ground or attached to the bottom of the screen where you can kind of get an idea for it. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be attached to... Oh, come on. I saw something up there. I... Wait, no, let's just get the Koopa. Oh my god. No! <laughs> I killed it by accident and Yoshi's gone. <laughs> oh no. Well, I don't even have the cape feather anymore. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. I think this might be going. Yeah, you can get like shot out of the other one. Oh god. Platforming. Platforming in a bonus area, yeah. Like, this game really rewards you for exploration specifically. Yeah, there you go, and then you, you have the, the checkpoint. Also, wait, yeah, I think this is the, uh, the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, this is the thumbnail. <laughs> nice. I had to make some changes to the thumbnail to get it to work in widescreen, because, like, you know, thumbnails are in widescreen, obviously. Yeah, I know there's a widescreen patch of this game, by the way. Uh, I want to play the original, because there's some minor changes with the widescreen patch. Uh, and I kind of just want to play the original game as, as is. Yeah, for just, like, basic playthrough, uh, the widescreen one is, is a lot better, but... You know, this is, uh... No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I keep immediately getting hit by the enemy. <laughs> well, I suck at this game, don't I? <laughs> Ooh, okay, now I'm in a bit of trouble. Also, yeah, that's another thing, is that in this game... You don't go back to, like, mushroom state. When you... Uh, when you get hit, you immediately become small Mario. Which is personally not my favorite thing of all time, because... That kind of means that you, like, uh, a skilled player will always have a backup in, in the item reserve, but a non-skilled player will always be using that, and always go through that very quickly, and probably won't even be able to use the item reserve because they're not, because, because they keep dying. That is, I, I think you should be not rewarding the less skilled players, but you should be making life easier for them, instead of what is inadvertently, and I, I don't think this is on purpose, but what is inadvertently doing the opposite. Oh, sorry, a bunch of, bunch of stuff. Wonder what Dylan Java be. Look, it's Yoshi. Oh, he died. <laughs> Poor Yoshi keeps dying. <laughs> I already, I already, like, put him into a pit. Like, once the stream. Oh, yeah, Thwimps. Yeah, these are, like, in the new Super Mario Bros. series nowadays, but this is what they, this is what they started. It was like, Nintendo was just like going like, hey, what about we just do stuff, and then... And then we actually make one of the best video games of all time. Like, that was... That's that's the thing with... I, again, I don't want to say rushed, but... Games made quickly. Um, where there's no time for weird ideas to go like, uh, that's too weird, let's not do that. But it's like, weird ideas, go on, we, we have, it's it's an idea, and it's cool. It doesn't matter if it's weird. And I honestly really respect that. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't think this game is, objectively speaking, the best Mario game. Like, if you want to get, like, really objective about, oh yeah, this one has the most, best designed levels, like, you'll, you'll be talking about, like, new Super Mario Bros. U, or... Mario Wonder or something, but the way this game is designed just brings so much to the table compared to New Super Mario Bros. U. Wonder is a little bit closer, where it's like, well, I think Wonder takes a lot from this game. You know, remember my reaction to uh, turn blocks when I saw turn blocks for the first time? <laughs> I think I made that into a clip. That was, I my life was complete at that moment. Like I could die happy because there were turn blocks in a brand new Mario game. Thing is, it was no effort at all for them to add that into into the game because it was already in Mario Maker, so it was like they, didn't, they probably didn't even have to program much for it. Also, vertical levels. Uh, I no Mario Three had some, so this is not a new concept. But for 
Well, that's the first death. <laughs> My dad says Yosh Yoshi. Uh, I think... I think that might just be the normal Australian pronunciation. Thing is, I think some uh, British accents also say Yoshi. Because uh, I've, I've heard some people say Yoshi as well, said Yoshi. I think most most people say Yoshi, though. I, 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 I don't... It doesn't really matter, like, it's... <laughs> I don't, I don't even know if it's said in-game by, like, a voice at some point. No, no, wait, in Mario Maker, when you place a Yoshi, it goes, Yoshi! <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, yeah, no, that doesn't say Yoshi, does it? It's Yoshi Egg, I think it is. Okay. But yeah, the, um, the moving of tiles here... is also kind of kind of an interesting gimmick that is again being reused here. But that is being do being being done being done more with. Uh, but that's just not a proper sentence. What am I even saying? I mean that like they evolve on mechanics in between levels too. Where most new Super Mario Brothers games or even Mario Wonder would go like, okay, this is the gimmick for this level, and it's not used anywhere else. Like this level is where we explore it, and we just hope we we do whatever we can with it. And you know, this is a very, you know. I think this game blurs the lines a lot more between what is a gimmick in a level uh, as opposed to what is a a basic building block, a basic verb of the game. Where I think these moving tiles, these moving crushes, I think kind of are a basic verb in the game, but I don't th I don't think that distinction was made in the design department. Where you know, if you look at Mario 3D World, you go to like okay, uh, for example, the, the platforms that, like, if you touch, you, uh, like, with the touch screen, you, they, they move. That's a gimmick, that's a level gimmick. But the, uh, pipes, the, like, transparent pipes, that's a verb, that's a basic, uh, basic design. I, I call them verbs, I, I, I think I probably stole that from some video essay at some point, I just don't remember. But yeah, a basic design verb. Um, and, and you can see that distinction made very clearly in the first level, where, you know, the first level introduces all of the... Oh my god, it's the same part as well. <laughs> um, 38 lives already, how is this man so skilled? Yeah, I keep losing them. <laughs> I should... Oh god, I have to redo re re the whole level every time. I should make sure I don't I don't die. The thing is, I, th I don't think back in the day I ever died there. Uh, but, like, the first level introduces basically all of the basic design verbs, and I mean that, uh, like, fully, like, all of them, and including, you know, the, the green stars, the stamps and stuff. Obviously, every level has those, but that's introduced there. And, you know, the, the cat suit is introduced. Like, not every verb is introduced, you know, the other power-ups are not, but basically every design verb is introduced. In this game, stuff that, like, I... I I don't think the distinction needs to be made because there is no such thing as a as a design verb. I think they 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 treat everything as a design verb, where it's introduced in one level, and the idea is you know the player has seen this before, the player knows what this is, the player can maybe even better, uh, or the player is better prepared for the challenges that uh, for some more difficult challenges. Sorry, I'm sort of building the sentence as we go along. <laughs> Uh, I tell him it's wrong, and he's like, nah. I think both are fine. I I think, technically, it's like, it's Yoshi, but Nintendo doesn't care. It's, it's not like, oh my god, I almost died there again. <laughs> yeah, it's like, gen generally, I prefer to use the, um, the pronunciation of something as it is in-game, but some games just don't have the word said anywhere. Like generally, like names and stuff. Like sometimes it's like, oh, this is closer to what it should be, or like what what I don't know, language-wise, this is what it should be like, and then in game they say something else. Though that's not relevant to this game, I think. But <laughs> unless this game has secret voice acting that I never knew of, I think there's a oh okay. Make sure don't don't die. As well, can I just say, like, the graphics of this game are so nice. Like, 
Nintendo could legitimately release a new game that looks like this nowadays, and I would go like, wow, actually, nice. Because like, they, they do so much 3D stuff nowadays, it's, it's, it's such, a, such a shame. Oh, come on, just belly. I used to be able to, like, he wouldn't even go onto the wall. And I could, could like, hit him three times. Oh, why did I do that? I'm stupid. Oh, is he actually gonna, like, kill me? Oh my god! <laughs> Let's go over here. Why does he always go to the left? <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um, no worries, no worries. We did it. Oh my god, wait, did it? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. The text from the super chat is just like... Wait, how long has that been there? Wait, how long has the super chat text been there? Halfway across the screen. I'm sorry, that's probably a layering thing in OBS. Sorry about that. I don't know why that's still there, though. Yeah, why is the alert box below everything? This should be, like, above everything. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why it's still there. I... Oh, there it is. No, it's disappeared now. Okay, I fixed it. Don't worry, I fixed it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I can only see half of the thing. Anyway, yeah. Thanks so much for that, Vanto. I, don't, I have no idea why that's, that's so delayed. No clue why that's so delayed, but hey. Video games. Um, wait, no, not video games. <laughs> Also, yeah, I have no idea where, like, an island shows up in the corner there. I've always wondered that. No clue. Absolutely no clue. Okay, so this is, like, the the underground world. Another thing is... You know, I... I, I should stop, like, comparing this to New Super Mario Bros. But, like, man, the level themes in this game are so much more interesting. You okay, know, all the world themes. I'm, uh, I'm gonna say, like, you know, New Super Mario Bros. has, like... Grass, desert, ice, water, basic stuff, you know, the, the elements. And then this game goes like, yeah, what about like a cool underground, underground bit? Or like, some of the other stuff, I don't even remember. I, I, I've only gotten to like the end, end game once. Because like, I have, I have beaten this game before. Uh, but, that was a while ago. That was also on, um, on original hardware. Wait, did you- wait, no, was that another- no, okay, no, sorry, that's the, um, <laughs> so you donated again? <laughs> Thank you. The overlay returns. <laughs> so, uh, in, in about 20 minutes, that's gonna show up now on stream. <laughs> so, so, sorry, thank you so much for, uh, for another Australian dollar. No, no, no clue how much that is in euro, but it's it's fine. <laughs> it's it's all good. It's probably roughly a euro. I, I don't know. Why even like? I guess I guess there's not enough words for you know. It would be cool. Like if every um every country had like a different name for uh. Well, I, 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 you know, I say that, but like back in the day, like the Netherlands and Belgium used to have like their own currency as well. The Belgian one was called f uh, Franc, which is very French. <laughs> Believe it or not, the French part of Belgium never really liked the Dutch part very much. <laughs> they were never, they were not big fans. <laughs> I don't even remember. Oh yeah, and in the Netherlands they were called Hilden. <laughs> Oh, Alex is playing Brawlhalla. Thank you, Steam, for notifying me of that. Very important information. Oh god. Uh, I have like these these very steep stops. You know, uh, I feel like I've said this about something else as well, but like it feels like the first draft of a level was really good, and they just stuck with it. You know. That's what Mario World feels like. It was like the first draft of a level, someone just sat down and went, yeah, let's make a level, and then that was the final level, and they'd never changed anything about it. 
Uh, maybe that was the case of this game, because like it's it's reasonably because uh, it was it was uh, released pretty quickly, uh, developed pretty quickly. One uh, Australian dollar is about sixty cents, but is it sixty? Is it sixty cents in euro? Is it sixty cents in American dollars? AU dollar is worth like nothing, nah. <laughs> But hey, either way, I, I, I appreciate the uh, the super chat either way. Wow, I said either way thrice there. I, I have this issue where like sometimes I say something like 20 billion times. Oh, no. Because as well in, um, in the next video, which is going to release this Friday, because it's basically done except for a small skit that we need to record. We've been wanting to record it for about half a year. Uh, <laughs> you know, typical Sandal Channel stuff? Stuff taking just really long to materialize? It's completely normal, don't worry about it. No, no, don't worry about how somehow Scott the Walls uploaded every week for about two years straight. <laughs> but I remember, like, way back, um... I say way back, it's not way back. It's like pretty oh it's like pretty pretty recent. Yes, I know Alex is playing Brawlhalla. You don't need to notify me of that Steam. <laughs> the stream can't even see that, I think. Oh there it is. There's the uh the uh, donation. New video, yes. <laughs> also, yeah, since you're uh, a member, you're gonna see another new video soon. Uh, which is like a behind the scenes of a special that never materialized, which is gonna be pretty cool. Uh, I actually recorded that about a year ago. <laughs> and I think there's some references to that being a second channel video in there, but... I don't want to re-record it because a lot of that is more fresh on the mind in that video. Oh wait, I think I just... Because <laughs> like, I don't remember a lot of that special anymore. Oh! Uh, but yeah. Also, we should be seeing a special by the end of this year, but the issue is we, we don't have enough DView episodes yet. We're at three, and in this next half a year, I basically need to upload three more, which I don't know how I'm going to get the time to do that. I do have enough video ideas for that. Don't, don't worry about that, but... There's a, there's a bunch of video ideas in the list. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm I just I'm just really I'm just playing the game now. I'm not even looking at the design. Um, I mean, I guess the the main the main uh, ideas of of the design are already. Why is my oh my phone died? No, my phone died. I can't see chat anymore. No. Wait, I have to put it on the charger for a second, I think, and then. Because either either I don't have power or I don't have internet. <laughs> because I think I think I know what it is. Because my laptop has like some interference problems where like if my laptop's on, my Wii U can't connect to the internet either. <laughs> I had that issue where it's like that yesterday. I was like, why is my Wii U not connecting to the internet? Because uh, like I was trying to get Pretendo to work. Uh, because you know the official servers shut down, which is such a such a shame. Uh, I, I did the uh, the Mario Maker stream. Uh, I kind of wish I did a second one, but I decided for the Roblox stream instead. Because I was like, yeah, should I really stream the same game like this close together, twice, for the same reason? It's like it's it's not like the Pokemon stream, where, like that was that was an event, you know, where it was like I'm finishing Pokemon Black and White two, no, specifically Black two that was. Also, about, like, um, if I'm gonna beat the game today or not, I want to, but I legitimately do not remember how long the game is. Like, I don't know if you can beat it in one setting easily. I don't know if it's that kind of game. Oh god. I always found that so cool, where it was, like, transparency, but when it goes over a tile, somehow that tile disappears. Like, I think that was a technical limitation of transparencies, but it's so... It's so cool that I was like, legit, I- also, apparently you can spin jump on these, which is incredibly funny. <laughs> Actually, I think you can spin jump on, like, the big boobs. Actually, let's try that. Oh, no, let's not try that. <laughs> uh, D-switch. 
Oh yeah, I remember. If you go into this door, it just resets the area. No! <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> well, I guess we're doing the area again. I don't know why I waited for the P switch to go. I think there is also something over here. I remember that being something that's like you could like do something. Maybe it was a P switch. I don't. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't fully remember. Or maybe it was like me trying to, uh... I'm good. Yeah, can you spin jump? I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna try. Oh, this is also, you know, the, the classic elevator button. Where if you have to wait, Nintendo always adds something that you can do while you're waiting. Always. Yeah, I can spin jump on this. <laughs> what even are they? Okay. Let's go get the uh, P switch. Oh no. Hi. Okay, note to self. Wait, what? The coins? Oh, wait, yeah, I already collected the coins. There we go. I was gonna be so pissed if the, if the blocks just like appeared. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I want some way to look at chat. You think you can look at chat on the YouTube app on your Nintendo 3DS? <laughs> I'm not trying that. That would be very funny though. Jesus Christ, my chair's so loud. Vanilla Dome 3. Also, I just love the name Vanilla Dome. I remember in Mario Maker, I once made a level called Vanilla Donut Dome. Because it was a level about donuts. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, so again, in this level, you kind of see a gimmick. But that gimmick is then, from then on, you, uh, from that point on, used as a verb. Which makes sense, realistically speaking. Because it's like... And there are times that this happens in Mario, in like, new Mario games, but... Not many that I can think of. But this is the only game, except maybe Mario 3 as well. And technically Mario Bros, but Mario Bros introduces all of its firms in the first level, basically. Um, but this is the, the best example of a game that treats things it's intru it, it introduces like basic building blocks of design. Where... A Mario, uh, a modern, I don't know if I, in my mind, don't consider this a Mario game. No, it is. A modern Mario game would go, okay, you have this gimmick for this level, and it's in no other level, ever. Is that, I feel like I can go into one of these pipes and I just forget. For gore. Makes sense that there are skull rafts now. And again, you can see the elevator button there. The elevator button, the question block with 10 coins in it. Typical elevator button. I think you can go up with the cape feather in this room. But I'm thinking of a different one. Also, like, you know, some random bonus room having a different tile set. I know this is also used in other places, but... Like, this is a really nice background. Please let me in the pipe. Let me in. Let me in! <laughs> let me in! <laughs> I'm so sorry, I can't see chat. I keep looking over at my phone going like, I wonder if anyone said anything in chat. The only thing I'll know if someone has put a super chat in. <laughs> That's so sorry. And I don't even know how much. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get chat open again in a, in a second. I, I don't need, I don't need what's in that lock. I, I do not need it. I don't need it. <laughs> Whoa, 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 Mario, I didn't want to do that! <laughs> okay, now you can see that the cape feather can be uh, an issue something. I've never had that happen before, though. That's 100% user error. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Uh, how do you minus? Yeah. No. Oh, this is how you're supposed to do it. 
Golf as a Yoshi. Interesting. Can I put the shell down? Also, for, for bongos coming in when you're on Yoshi is absolutely incredible. Man, this lava tile set just reminds me of Super Mario Bros. X, like where you could like build lava like this. It's completely unrealistic, but it's... Hmm, actually it depends. If there's like ground underneath it... Oh, okay, I'm not... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna argue the realism of a vertical lava wall. It's a Mario game. <laughs> I should probably be more worried about the dragons in the lava. <laughs> I don't think you can eat spike tops in Mario Maker, actually. I mean, you can definitely not eat buzzy beetles. Alright. But yeah, uh, as I was saying, like, this game, and I think I've, I've already made this point a couple of times, so it's not really that important. But that this game, like, treats a, a level gimmick as something that's been introduced, and now you should just be familiar with. Which is a way to design levels, or a... I think it's a more... It's a... Uh, what, what, it's a more economic way to design levels, because you can reuse gimmicks. How... I love how I've gotten worse at these over time. <laughs> oh, so apparently the speed of these mushrooms is different depending on your region or something like that. I don't know what it was. I think the PAL version has faster ones. I'm playing- this is the, uh, the, the one that's shipped with Switch Online. But don't tell Nintendo I'm not using a Switch right now. <laughs> Don't, don't tell Nintendo. I think you can actually just, like, uh, dump them off of a SNES Classic. So. It's all good. Also, I have a Switch Online subscription, Nintendo. I just don't like Switch Online that much. <laughs> I don't want to pay 20 bucks a year for the ability to play my Super Nintendo games that I literally do not have access to. Let, let alone save files. I literally do not have access... Oh, I literally do not have access to them if my subscription my subscription ends. Because I bought Switch Online for Mario Wonder, played online like twice. I should play Mario Maker 2 again. I should stream that game again. It's been a really long time since I did. I've not- you know what? I'll, I'll say it. I've been slacking on my Mario games. I should be playing more of them. Also, yeah, this level has a pretty weird gimmick where it's like these, these things and then the bullet builds that go. As well. No, the cape fell as well. And that's a choice you make. That's that's legitimately a really uh and Mario 3 introduced that uh, idea of that being oh no oh, no 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 <sighs> Okay, well no <laughs> That's another like timing challenge where oh, oh, oh fucking hell that was a jump scare right there Okay like, that, that's basically the gimmick of the level, where they sort of... The idea is here, we combine two things to make something novel. I do think that this game's levels are a little bit short. Um, now, I say that not even playing Mario 3 right now, because Mario 3 has even shorter stages. But Mario 3 has the issue where, like, it, it can barely evolve a mechanic in one level. This game manages to, but I don't think it goes far enough. And I think that's why level gimmicks are used as verbs instead of a gimmick. For one level, where there's not enough time in a pretty short, still you know, decently long level, but pretty short level, there's not enough time to fully explore a mechanic like that. Oh, so wait, actually, before before we before we go there, I need to look at chat for a second. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. To be fair, you're a one-man army with videos. Uh, awesome's. I have a steady revenue stream soon due to my job, so I'll be able to stay as a member. That that's great. As a, remember, as long as you uh, you have the uh, disposable income for it, like it's it's absolutely no problem for you to, to skip out on a on a month or two, or oh, just in general. I mean, you can still be as as much of a part of the community if you uh, 
if you are not a member. Oh! Hey, if this is what magic cube was meant to do. Okay, I. A little bit screwed here. Can you please come and destroy the block? Thank you. <laughs> Why was the mushroom semi-transparent? Actually, how does transparency on the Super Nintendo even work? Because like, I remember it being really difficult to to do that with like a background or something. Oh god. Oh god, wait, I have to go into there? Uh, yeah, no, that's not... <laughs> nice! Actually, how's the game audio? I'm just just realizing it might be a bit loud, but hey, should be all good. No, we're far enough into the stream where, if it was an issue, then whoops. <laughs> now the thing is, I might. So we need to make a video, and I might use some footage from the stream. Uh, it's probably not going to be the highest bit rate ever, but should probably be fine. Because uh, I increased the bitrate specifically, re like recently I did because I was I still had the bitrate on 2000, which is watchable but not enjoyable. Um, well, it depends on the game, you know. For a Osaka, for a Osaka game, it was perfectly fine because uh, that's like what you move, you barely even move the camera. But for for something like a side scroll or like Mario, or you know what was the biggest one? And in that stream, I legitimately couldn't even change it because I was at my dorm where the Wi Fi or Ethernet even is, has really slow upload, so I can barely, barely uh, get a higher bitrate than that. The Penny's Big Breakaway stream is really difficult to watch. And even with that bitrate, occasionally there's some frame drops. So it's like, I, I, you know what I kind of wish? There was a way to do. Like an even longer delay uh, in YouTube stream for being able to do a higher bit rate. Hey, they they got that. You can see that there, the mushroom was placed there specifically for you to go to go down there because otherwise you get crushed. <laughs> but again, you can see the the crushing blocks are used as a, as a verb here. And maybe they, maybe you should see them as such more so than you know what, what a level gimmick like the uh, the bullet bill thing would be, you know, the bullet bill spawner and the uh, the springy platform. Though those also get reused. Now I don't remember specifically if those get reused in the main game or only in the special world, which I'm not gonna go too far into the special worlds. Uh, well, first, first of all, because I didn't even get the secret exit for it, because I think that was one of the uh, earlier. Well, there's multiple exits that prove that. Oh yeah, this boss. Oh, God damn it! Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh come on, that still hits me. Okay, yeah, I'm dead. Am I? God damn it. God damn it. I have to redo this whole bit. Ah, it's fine. That's one thing where, like, you know, modern platformers are pretty smart at this. And with modern, I mean, like, post Super Meat Boy, I guess. Uh, where level, like, individual challenges are pretty difficult but pretty short, and you can quickly get through one, but you can also quickly die, and the most important part is quickly respawn. Because in this game, respawning takes, like, ages, and that's that's the general issue with Mario games. Wanda made this, I think, slightly better by not booting you back to the world map, but then again, this game doesn't either. <laughs> should I? No, no, I shouldn't. I can, but I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Okay. Also, can we just have a moment to appreciate the music in this game? Like, 
actual legitimately impressive music for what system this was on. Now then again, the Super Nintendo did have a lot of good music tracks, but this is a like the this is iconic. You know, when a lot of people think of Mario, they think of this game, and I don't blame them, <laughs> because this game has probably the biggest community around it, of 2D Mario at least. Like, yeah, Mario 64 is probably the bigger 3D Mario community. Believe it or not, I have never beaten Mario 64. I have wanted to for... Oh, come on. Really? That didn't count as hitting him? That didn't count?! There we go, Jesus. Fucking fireball. No, this is not, not the easiest boss of all time. No, we're getting there. Still plenty in terms of lives, but... I have been practicing with Mario Maker 1. <laughs> yeah, legitimately, uh, the last day of the service being online, I was like, you know what? Let's go download a ton of levels and then do some 100 man. And I did a normal 100 man in I think 10 minutes. <laughs> like, normal difficulty was like, it was all so easy. I mean, I did Expert, which was, I think, like the perfect difficulty level. Really enjoyed that. I can see the dry bone. And I jumped off and then I got scared when I died. No, uh, that was like the perfect difficulty. I really enjoyed that. I still had plenty of lives left over when I when I died when I when I died when I uh, won. But then I was like, well, let's do a super expert. The super expert didn't go as well. <laughs> I did not beat the super expert. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was the last last uh, thing I did in Super Mario Maker One before it shut down. That's the thing, you know, when when playing, like Mario Maker One died years ago, when when you couldn't upload levels anymore. Like that's when Mario Maker One died. Because the best part of Mario Maker One is the level creator, and that level creator is legitimately better than the one in Mario Maker Two. Don't at me. No, <laughs> it's just fine if you like it. It's just like being a little bit more zoomed out already helps so much. And it's not even just that. It's also just the, the menus make more sense. I'm taking a few more risks here, but I, I really don't want to sit around waiting for three hours. There's a lot of dry bones here, aren't there? Aren't there or isn't there? Actually, shh. I genuinely don't know. <laughs> English. Very good language. Also makes- oh my god, I was standing on top of her. Right? Yeah, I know I jumped on the wrong one. I didn't mean to jump on that one. <laughs> oh, fireball is evil. I'm telling you! Oh! <laughs> this this is what I mean with the reserve power up thing. Where I don't have a reserve power up now, so the best I can do is a mushroom, which means I'm kind of stuck in this endless loop of like I'm in a worse position than I was when I died. So I need to be even more skillful than I was when I died. I think that's that's the issue with the reserve item power up, reserve item power, reserve item box. It's really nice. But that is the price you pay. Oh no. I press jump. I'm not. I don't believe you. I pressed jump. I I did I did the thing. Literally like the second jump as well. Oh, there's so much waiting. They didn't they didn't add an elevator block uh, elevator button for me to press. I don't want to make that jump because I don't think I can make it. Um, there we go. That's how that was supposed to go. Wasn't there a block here? No. Yeah, this is a safe area. 
Like, I just, I, I need to check, because, like, what if there was, and I could have gotten, like, a fire flower or something. Man, for like what? What is this? The third castle? This is this is this is not not the easiest thing of all time. Now then again, I'm happy about that because modern. Now Mario Wonder only got difficult in the bonus world, and even then, it was like it was pretty easy to do with most of it. Though I will say the the focus. Oh good. Oh good. The focus of um, modern Mario games is less just beating the level, and more getting all the collectibles, which Mario Wonder made incredibly easy. Let's hope I just get lucky. Finally, Jesus. <laughs> That's the thing, if I like properly concentrate, <laughs> I can actually do it. It's just like I I, I I like talking too much also. Let's uh quickly check chat again. Sorry I have to do it like this. Uh hello toxic noob. Um nice stream bro, do you stream usually? Uh most of the time yes, I do. Also it shows the thing again. I don't know how long that shows up for, but fine that it shows up for a really long time because that's that's great. Um you know, Spiracy was even better when it was like a Genesis. I don't know, actually. Game audio is good. The stream has been really steady. Good FPS and audio quality. Nice. Hollow Knight is probably one of the best modern platforms. I don't I don't know if I'd consider uh, Hollow Knight a platformer, really. I do get where you come from. It's It has platforming elements. But with the inspiration being closer to Super Metroid and Dark Souls, I... I don't know. I wouldn't put it in the same category as this game. You know? And this is what I consider a classic 2D platform. And I do think Hollow Knight is pretty... Well, okay, I'm not going to make any uh, assumptions about Hollow Knight because I have yet to actually play it. I think something like Ori is closer to a platformer. But... I don't know. There's a lot of stuff I'm missing here in terms of, like, secret exits. Uh, but I don't remember all of them. Uh, but we're just we're just going to go through the game. Also, yeah, as I, I I don't know if I said that just now, uh, but welcome, Toxic Noob. Uh, in terms of, like, usual streams, I stream every now and again, but there's no schedule, sadly. Uh, they they kind of used to be, but nowadays I just kind of stream when I have time, and it's currently break, so you, you'll see a few more streams from me than usual. But this talk path is pretty, pretty relaxing, isn't it? Right! <laughs> also, uh, Cheese Bridge Area is the best name for a thing in the universe. I, I would like to name my child Cheese Bridge Area. <laughs> but yeah. And, uh, yeah, in terms of games I stream, it's it really depends. I usually don't like to stream one game f more than a couple of times, but, you know, there's the, uh, yeah, I'm not getting that further, I'm sorry. There's the, the Pokemon stream, <laughs> the Pokemon stream series where I played Pokemon for an entire week, and I say I don't have time to make videos. No, but, um... Just look out for uh, whatever I have to, uh, whatever I have to show for you this time. I don't actually know what stream. Actually, th there's there is another stream I wanted to do. It's a stream I've been putting off for a very long time. Uh, <laughs> the um, the what was it? Unbeatable White Label. It's a weird name for a game. Like a like a rhythm game. Kind of want to just chill out with that one. But again, most of the recent streams have just been kind of like chilling out. Like, none of it's been, oh, let's do this really difficult challenge that I absolutely despise doing. Uh, shout out to the Jewel 3 stream, which I absolutely hated because I made the game really difficult for myself. <laughs> no combos at all. No combos. <laughs> 
Yeah, that was not a fun stream. Oh, so that, that stream is horrible audio quality because I put my mic next to my... Well, this and all of my home streams have horrible audio quality as well because I'm using the CSGO mic, but... I think it's funny. Th this mic sounds funny. Like, yeah, you wouldn't make a video essay on this mic, but it's fine for streaming. It sounds kind of realistic, you know, how you... How you how you remember your your friends on the, the Xbox 360 party in 2007 sounding, you know? <laughs> oh, come on. Can I- can I get up there? Yes. She's- like, look at this- they're, and they're bringing this back again! Like, this- this one-time gimmick in the first stage, they're bringing this back again for, a. Uh... Gimmick. Now, if it's used one other time in the game, I'm not going to consider it a verb, obviously. That's not. I don't. Th I don't. I think that's that's simplifying design too much. Like you can't. You know, you can put a lot of words on design, but you can't put a number on design. I feel. Um. I don't think that makes any sense, does it? <laughs> I mean, you usually wouldn't put a number on it. But again, that's that, that's what game reviews do, and I think game reviews. Putting a number on a game is not the right thing to do. Just in general, in in not not even just design, just the art, like games themselves, just art in general. Don't put a number on it because someone will find it great and someone will find it horrible. I I I, I saw this a lot with movies, but like some movies that I really enjoy, and like yeah, I know. Cars 2 is not a good movie in terms of its writing. Like, yeah, it's not it, the writing is not traditionally good, but it fills kind of a a niche, and I respect it for that. Like, oh my god, can I get like a shell or something? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are we gonna introduce new variations of piranha plants now? Yeah, I've I've missed so many switch blocks of uh, switch palaces. These guys were always so cool. Like these guys, no, these guys were reintroduced in New Super Mario Bros. U. I think. Okay, let's see. I'm... Yeah, I forgot about those. <laughs> I forgot about those. Yeah, again, it's so weird, because what's the gimmick of this level? I guess it's the, um, the, uh, what are they called? Oh my god, I missed the mole! I missed my mole. Uh, again, you know what, let's look at the chat again, because I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, no, okay, nothing new. I'm, I'm so, uh, what's the term for it? I swear, I'm, I'm not getting like, worse and worse at just speaking. Um... I know what the word is I'm thinking of. I just don't know what it what it is. <laughs> uh, paranoid, paranoid. There we go. Figured it out eventually. It took me about five minutes, but we got there. Uh, <laughs> I'm so paranoid about like not being able to see chat, especially if like you know. Remember that one stream where I didn't set up the audio, but it was like, yeah, Sweet Home Alabama was playing the whole time. What is this? <laughs> The fuck is this room? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh! Call that a bonus room? Call that a murder room? How did I even get that? Was that through here? No, this is just a one-up. Yeah, okay, okay, at least I'm getting my lives back. <laughs> a lot of moles. Also, from the Mario Maker stream, uh, somehow, I must have uh, put in the incorrect code, but I found the greatest night of my career. I found that troll up. Like it was legitimately just on on, on the account for uh, for Carl Sagan forty two. I have no idea how I managed to mess up typing in the code so badly that that I thought it was removed. I also found uh, the original edition best sub mold, you know, the the classic. 
Okay, this guy is a menace. That was like right before the end of the stage as well. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm really not getting my uh, my star rank this time. Yeah, so I guess the gimmick for this level was those um I I forgot the name of them the the fat guys on the blocks with the fire underneath them. That's what that's what they're called, man. I'm <laughs> I don't know the the enemy names anymore. Uh, but, yeah. Wow, that was a sentence. Oh yeah, what, what, I, what I was saying, what, that was the gimmick, I guess, at that level, but there was so much other stuff. It's like, maybe the idea is that there's so much that is a verb, but then nothing is a verb. Where, and I, I, I love how I'm using this, this term that I... I have no idea where I got this this term from. Design, verb, and like gimmick. <laughs> you know, gimmick. I know where I got it, but like the, a design verb being the opposite of that. I just think it sounds cool. I don't. I... The idea is that it's like it's, it's a recurring gimmick essentially. It's basically a gimmick, but one that shows up numerous times throughout the game. And you kind of expect it to be familiar with. It. That's that's the idea of a design verb. Oh no. Huh. Hit it! Hit the block! Yeah, so here I guess this is the gimmick of the level. Alright. And then we have fences, which are again, I believe this is a verb. But the last time we saw this was at the first castle. So it's like, is it a verb or is it a gimmick? I, you know, I might say it's a gimmick then. Because if it's... If it shows up twice in the whole game, that's not a verb. And again, like, they, they build upon what the first castle does with this gimmick. So I I believe it's just like, levels have sequels in this game. But then again, the first half of this level was not the same. So it's like, the second half of this level is a sequel to the first castle. Or the first half of the first castle. Hello? Oh, hello. And the fire in this game is so cool. Funny enough, this is like the most traditional modern Koopaling fight in the game. Like, he, he throws some fire, he goes into a shell, and then he jumps. Whoa! Bro, 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 you're off screen! That's not fair! There we go. Funny enough, one of the easier bosses. <laughs> easier than the last one, apparently! <laughs> Mario looks so dead inside a small Mario. It's, it's really funny. How far is my phone charged now? Do you think we can get somewhere? Six percent. I don't even have it on the fast charger. The fast charger is in the in the other room, so I'd have to get it. <laughs> I'm just so incredibly lazy. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. Oh no, it's okay. It's okay. I'm later, but he, did you hear about the Terraria April Fools update? It turned the game back to what it was ten years ago. Yes, I really want to play that. I'm actually really happy they made that because just a few months prior. I downloaded like a uh, an archive version of this technically piracy, but like I had the full game um, of the original launch version of Terraria, and I was like, "This is kind of cool." I kind of wish they had this. And then for April Fools, they actually added that, and it's 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 legitimately really really cool. I uh, I I'm, I I really hope they don't get rid of it because it's like legitimately a piece of history to have the uh, the original version. Well, it's not 1.0, but it's close enough. Oh, yes, Forest of Illusion. Yeah, so this is, uh... The thing is, you know what I think it is? Instead of going, oh, here's a gimmick for this level, they go, where does this level take place? And they go, what would make sense here? And I think that's the way 
Because Wigglers show up, I think, throughout this whole world. Pardon me. Uh, throughout this whole world. So it's like, is it a gimmick? Well, no, it's a verb, but it's a verb of this area. I don't know, it's... Oh, I need the spring. Get the spring. Get the spring, the spring, the spring. Oh god, wait, yeah. Look at this. This is like in, uh, in Lost Levels. Uh, but with a 1-up this time. Whoa, 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 Yoshi, no! Swallow with the spring. Kind of impressive, man. Oh, wait. Let's try and get a one up. That's what's really impressive is like they put these boxes in. Oh my god, you get two up. Oh my god, that's right. Yeah, you switch between one up and two up. Oh, okay. Yoshi's dead. <laughs> you have to be kind of careful here. This is, I believe, the secret exit for this area. Yeah. Yeah, I just gained so many lives there. That's that's what's interesting is like they make those boxes, and unlike new games, they actually design the area around every option you could have. Oh yeah, that's right. You need to do secret exits here because otherwise you just get like go around and do a circle. Okay, so I guess the idea for this ghost house is hmm. It's a thing, like, it, there's, there's, there's no overarching thing, or at least not yet. And even if there is, like, it's it's so weird not to introduce that yet. True. I guess the peepers are the, um... I think these are peepers. I think these are the same ones in the 3D really world. I'm not entirely sure not. Yeah, then we have like this area again with the uh, the funky ghosts. Okay, that was funny enough. That made me lose my mushroom. <laughs> funny enough, this is a really weird gimmick that I'm actually not a big fan of. Um... Oh, one up, thank you so much. Look at this! Look at this! I'm guessing I need to get the P switch. Oh my god. This place is a menace, no! Okay, let's go over here. Let's get all of them to go over here, there we go. There we go. That's the that's the one. Oh yeah, this was clever. Where you can like go outside of the stage. It's clever. It's clever. I do like it. Oh, I know there's a star coin over there. Oh, dragon coin. Sorry, but I'm not gonna get it. I wonder if this is the secret exit or not. With a, with a ghost house, you you kind of never really know. <laughs> have a gander at chat again because I need to do that every now and again uh oh my god wait there's a bunch of yeah they said they would leave it in the game when the GF tells you to sleep so you say okay and continue watching a sad little stream uh hello oh I'm so sorry I'm not is it okay if I don't say that name because I'm absolutely gonna butcher it I'm just gonna say axolotl like Vanta yeah um way okay uh, so I'm, I'm just gonna say that my phone died, so I can't see my chat preview, so I occasionally have to tab out the game to see chat, so sorry if I don't immediately respond, but welcome Axolotl, I'm just gonna say Axolotl, because I'm absolutely gonna butcher it if I'm gonna try and say the, uh, the username. <laughs> also, I think this is the first game where you can go into the Lakitu cloud. Wait, I say Lakitu now? I always said Lakitu! When did this happen? 
How did this happen? Why did this happen? I need answers. I always used to say Lakitu, and now I say Lakitu? Which one's actually correct? <laughs> Genuine question. I think Lak Lak Lakitu is probably closer to ground. Oh, that was useful. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think Lakitu is probably correct because Japanese, but... Lakitu is Amer American fight. Oh wait, what if I just don't get the mushroom? If I don't get the one-up, does he not try to kill me? Oh my god. So yeah, that's the gimmick of this level. <laughs> These guys. Please. Okay, I'm gonna try and not get the one-up. I'm gonna try and be a smart, smart Samuel. Jesus Christ, I almost got killed by the Koopa. I jumped! Come on! That's not fair. Oh my god, I really want the mushroom though. It's hard to avoid this. <laughs> it's hard to avoid the one up. It's legitimately that. Like, stop dangling it in front of me! <laughs> I will say the levels. Oh no. Literally. Why did I have to open my mouth? I was gonna say the level is so much easier with, with, with it being like this instead. But immediately. Immediately, I regret that that word, that word, that sentence. Very good English, caveman, go ooga booga, like a two. Oh, now I say like a two again. <laughs> <laughs> Says the key two once, instantly regrets it. Oh, I'm not gonna. Sorry. Why does he jump that high? Oh, hello! Hello, Mark! I'm just gonna go to the end as quickly as I can. Wait, can I throw this at him? Please die. Oh my god, that kills him. Yes! <laughs> this cloud is incredibly slow. Can I go above goal? No, shame. Shame, shame. I probably should have realized that, though. <laughs> Let's have a gander at chat again. Uh, I always said, uh, Lackey 2. Yeah, Lackey 2. Mum calls him Cloud Guy. Sandal says Lackey 2. God, fuck. <laughs> 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 Gone wrong, for real. <laughs> All right. I don't remember if I'm going the right way, but I think there's a couple of ways to get through this. Ah, yes, water levels. We have yet to interact with one of these. <laughs> water levels in this game are interesting. Well, first of all, obviously, uh, the entire control scheme changes. But when you're holding something, the entire control scheme changes again. Which is probably the weirdest part about all this. Oh yeah, that's... I I got I got trolled by the game because I forgot about that. I literally just said it. I forgot about that. The fact that the control scheme changes when you hold an item. No other Mario game does. Well, then again, I don't think any other Mario game allows you to hold something while swimming. The new Super Mario Bros. series sure as hell don't. Well, I guess Mario Maker, but the Mario Maker just copies this game's behavior. I don't think Wonder allows you. Oh my god, this, this song. There's, there's one thing that this song makes me think of. Yeah, I'm gonna try and sync it in a second. Yeah, next loop, next loop. Oh, okay, this appeared already. <laughs> These are very healthy movements for an adult to make. Very healthy. Does anyone know that weird barb level? A weird, very bad barb level? 
Bob is a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Carl just going down and like, I think it was like some spike maze. <laughs> Bob is a piece of shit. <laughs> I have nothing against Bob, by the way. Nothing against Bob. It's just, this is really funny. <laughs> nothing against Bob. But what, what's he been up to nowadays? I, I, don't, I don't see much what Bob's been up to. In the Mario Maker community. The Mario Maker 1 community is dead. <laughs> that died long ago. Man, it's so weird to switch between the two physics systems. I say it like it's like some stout physics thing. Also, these fish, I think blobs. No, blobs are, are these these green guys, I think. Or the red guys, I don't remember. One of them is cheap cheap, one of them is blob. Which is. Ooh. No. Really? That doesn't... Oh. Okay. So this is all just some bonus thing that I can't even get. Now there goes my mushroom because I'm being chased by a fish! My life is over. My life is literally... <laughs> Oh, you can't jump on this. That was good to know. Man, I need to rewatch that that uh, video again. The, the one where he goes, Bob is a piece of shit. Really? Really? Come on. Come on. Now we're getting into the point where the game is actually kind of getting a bit tough now. We're actually getting. I need to be skilled at video games now, which is a problem because I'm. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just not gonna grab the box. Easy problem solved. Just don't. Have you tried not? Close! Oh! Big Mario has like a death sentence here. Wait, how did the. I swear there was only one last time. It's also very nice that that guy is blocking the entrance. Now I really have to because I'm I'm going to die otherwise. Is this like supposed to be a fake wall? Oh wow, that's okay. That's it. That's that's the thing. Let's have another gander at chat. Just just a second. Oh god, someone else joined. Someone else joined. Uh, hello, Nima HDV. Welcome. Go GP. Hey Vanta, how are you? Vanta, do you just like know everything? <laughs> Bro didn't want to drop down. <laughs> Draining my bank account of its $5 for this 3 I regret nothing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, welcome, Nima. Uh, I don't know if Vanta, like, actually... Oh, well, hello. <laughs> Wait, does it still say that you donated? <laughs> okay, I might actually have to remove it now. Yeah, it's still there. I don't know why it's still there. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna... Can I, like... Okay, now, now it's updated. <laughs> Literally half the stream, Vanta donated one one Australian dollar. I mean, I'm incredibly, uh, incredibly grateful for it. So, like, I'm fine with it showing up for like ten minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah, these are gonna despawn, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, so much for my ten coin things. Wait, they don't even give ten coins. They give one. <laughs> Yeah, but apparently Blue Switch Palace I have now. Very cool, very based.
Incredible. So yeah, I'm not really talking much about the design. The thing is, there's there's so many aspects to it. And you kinda you kinda forget that when you're playing a game. Like there's a lot of stuff, a lot of a lot of mechanics interacting with each other in a lot of different ways. We have to play this again. <sighs> I have to play the water level again. <laughs> Welcome to waiting the video game. And they should have added these sea urchins into Mario Maker as well. Actually, they might as well just be storm blades on on tracks. <laughs> Actually, yeah, stuff like that is always... So, I I, I kind of wondered how were... Uh, uh, what are they called? The... Oh my god. The uh, the snake blocks. Like, how they were going to work. Because I saw them in the trailer for Super Mario Maker 2. And I was like, how are they going to... How are they, how they going to make that work? Because it's just like... You can't see where they're going. And they could be going anywhere. And you have fast ones that go, like, pretty freaking fast. And they didn't address that concern, really. I mean, some people added, like, tracks to show where the blocks are, but then I'm just like, what's the point of having the snake blocks in the first place when you can make them yourself, basically? I was kind of like, I'm, I'm, that's how I am with most Mario Maker 2 stuff. Now, there are some things where I'm just like, this is genuinely a really good, really cool feature. Like, you know, more boss fights is always appreciated, but more specifically, uh, I don't want to risk that. More specifically, uh, the seesaws were really cool, in my opinion. How is how did that how have you not drowned? He's a football player. All right. Finally, I got I got some star points again. Okay, let's uh, take a gander at chat again. Uh, yeah, Nima's part of my guild in the game. Nice! The Golden Pistol, henched in GP. Mario Water Level 2 Electric Boogaloo. He lost the weight and got fat again, Mario! <laughs> yep. I mean, have, have you seen him with the people? <laughs> He's truly something else. <laughs> okay, I think I need to get the secret exit in this level. That's the one where it really matters. Oh yeah, it's the one with the bombs. Alright. Yeah, the bombs are kind of weird. Don't they, like, automatically explode in this game? Yeah. Yeah. They have, like, really weird, uh, particles. Anyway. So that's the gimmick for this level. And it, I... I do think they show up later at some point. I was going to kill myself for Yoshiba. <laughs> Hello? Oh, you have to be moving to throw it. That's different from a Mario Maker, I think. If I'm just comparing things to Mario Maker now, it's like, yep, yeah, that's in Mario Maker, that's different than in Mario Maker. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, there might have been some power up in there. Ah. It's all... Jesus, that, that bubble almost killed me. See, yeah, that, that, that's what's, what's impressive. It's like, these are engaging levels. While not really being focused on their gimmick. You know, you'd think they'd, like, have these guys in bubbles, like on smaller platforms or something like that, but like that would be how they evolve it. But they just kinda go like, here's stuff and bubbles. And here's some blocks that you can throw them at. Like there is there is no one thing that they're like making more it, it again, yeah, it's more of a, a theme, more of a feelings thing. Than a than a like, okay, this needs to be like tightly designed like this. It's more of a what, what 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 vibe you feel? I've never seen that before. That Goomba just disappeared straight up. Wow. <laughs> okay, 
let's have another small gander at chat. Ah, uh, Mario's a funny boy. I like the sprite in this game. Yeah, yeah, the, the sprite in this game is really nice. It's probably my, my favorite Mario sprite. Well, there is Mario, the uh, Mario and Luigi sprite, which is also really nice. I played the old versions as a child, but it was pretty strange. Oh, he doesn't need a seat, okay. <laughs> Mario's awesome, Luigi's better, finally. The only, the only true thing in this world. The only truth. The real truth. You know what? I'm. I think. I think we can beat the game. I think we're about halfway through. I don't know how long we've been going on for, but yeah. So I need. I need the secret exit in this. What does this level's normal exit lead? No, I want to. Wait. Okay. What's this level's normal exit? Goes. Was it the normal exit? I don't even remember. Oh no. Nice. I'm going to die. Wait, 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 let's... No, there's no, there's not enough room! Okay, let's just concentrate a little bit. I believe I got the, the secret exit, didn't I? In this level. I legitimately do not remember. Wow, I am very smart. <sighs> I didn't see the pit. There was a pit. There was indeed a pit. There was indeed a pit. Not even Big Mario anymore. All my reason to live to be Big Mario been crushed under the weight of that spiny, that one single spiny that sniped me. Yeah, we're going to be losing a few lives here, I think. <laughs> Wait, can I throw the P-switch up and kill him? No, no, that does not kill enemies. It would have been really fun if it did. Oh, yeah, I have a shell. Don't worry. Don't worry, I got things under control. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Exciting gameplay. I believe this cloud just like falls down, so yeah. There is no there is no flickering. Oh no, I did get the normal exit. So I did this for nothing. There is a secret exit. I don't know how to get it, though. Hmm, we're in a bit of a pickle here. I don't remember how to get it. <laughs> yeah, that didn't do anything. Yeah, I'm not redoing the water level. I don't think I have to. I think it's this level that I need to, to get a secret exit in, but I have no idea where it is. Guess just going to pipes. Can I explore? We're doing some of that darned exploration. Let's just wait for them to explode. We got the Yoshi. Maybe we need Yoshi for something. This seems like it's also important. Well, no, that's just a spring. No! I already lost Yoshi! It's like barely any further than I was before. Isn't that like... Isn't it like one of these blocks has like... A vine in it, or something? No, none, none of them yet. Get me my mushroom. I don't remember. I 
Oh, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to hit them quickly. Which means that they can't pop. Ah, uh, that's smart. That's a smart level gimmick. Okay, this level this level is making a lot more sense now. Oh, this this part more as much, but maybe there's like a secret, like a hidden block. Oh god. How did oh <laughs> I thought it was upside down. Can I just like hit all of this? I, I have a feeling I did the exact same thing on my Super Nintendo playthrough. So like that's that's why I'm like I'm It's like a fish. Hit the block. Holy No! Oh sorry about that. I think it is past the checkpoint, though. I think that is the right way to go. But, oh, I need my mushroom. So, with none of this, I can safely skip past all of this. I think I went through all of these boxes as well, didn't I? Oh, you can go into this pipe! <sighs> I just got hit. I just got hit. <laughs> Literally right before making it into this pipe, I got hit. Yeah, it's, legit it's, it's legitimately a better idea to, to die here. <laughs> nice. Okay, at least I know where to go, though. That, that green pipe. Just keep the mushroom. Come on. So very important, do not get hit. Ooh. Yeah, the question box still don't really make sense. I think it's just like, I'm like, what if we do this? And they did. And then all was good in the world. These are such, like, I, I am happy that this exists. And it, it kind of makes sense. Like, they want to teach you there is, there are secret exits. And having a required one is a, is a good, good showcase of that. And these are incredibly, like, easy to find secret exits compared to the other ones. I'm just... I don't know. Well, the thing is, it wasn't much of an issue. But I don't know if, uh, like, if that would be the case for everyone. Also, I quickly want to check chat again. Super Mario Brothers. Bro went home lander mode. <laughs> uh, leaving stream for a bit. Uh, we'll be back soon. That's fine, Vanta. I just gives him a hug. POV Yoshi, you're too heavy. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on. Oh yeah, speaking of the devil, oh okay, I spoke about the snake box like half an hour ago, but they're relevant now, they're in the game. They're pretty fast in this game, and they also don't like take you with you. Ah, actually, no, none of them do that. Good point, none of them do that. They're always static, essentially, so you have to keep walking, not like platforms. I love how when you jump, the sound effect for the, move, the moving stops. <laughs> oh god. I'm below this. Oh no. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Instant regret. Alright. I don't even have a mushroom. Ah, 
man, these classic Mario tracks are really good. Like, you know, even... No, not, not anything against, like, Wonder or, or even New Soup, uh, the OST. But, man, this is just something else entirely. <gasps> <laughs> that is... That is pretty, um... That's a thing. In a place. I'm a fan of the place. Try a different place at a different time. Sorry, that's a... My brain's wandering again. No, I say 40 lives is plenty. Maybe... What if I game over? <laughs> Concentration. If I just stick to the back of the platform. Yeah, look at that. We don't have any fire bubbles now. Lava bubbles. Boda boom. Same thing. Thing is, I think everyone called them Boda boo until Mario Maker was like, nah, lava bubble. And then now everyone just calls them lava bubbles. <laughs> supposed to do that without a power-up. Was that a checkpoint there? No. Mm. <laughs> mm. That's a platforming challenge right there. Traditionally, I'm not very good at those. Well, let's see. Is, is, is my skill still real? We shall see. Alright, alright. Alright. I'm looking at the ceiling at the same time is actually... I the... believe this is good, yeah. <sighs> Wait, why would I do that? Peace Switch makes them go down. But is there a way for these guys to despawn? I think so. I think this guy just come back. How did I do that? No, I don't even have a power up to go for the boss. Oh yeah, it's this guy. It's just the same. Okay, let's try and be. Oh yeah, I did it. Oh, that feels so good. That's. I may be a little too happy with that, but I did it. Ah, oh, maybe I am good at 2D platformers after all. Oh man. Oh yeah, this one. <laughs> that face, that face. <laughs> Uh, let's also have a quick gander ch chat. Oh, sorry. There's so much, so much stuff that, um... Jesus, moving stone, son of a fire. Hello. Oh, Dylan is there! No, I can't. <laughs> no, I call them son... Oh, son of a fire, the lava bubbles. That is... That is indeed a thing that exists. <laughs> that is... Everyone sort of has their own names for Mario enemies sometimes. I mean, I called the sumo guys, like, 
I, I think they're called like sumo bros. These, these ones I remember are Dino Torches, because I found it funny that their name was literally Torch. Oh my god. You know what I just tried to do? I tried to ground pound. <laughs> in, in Super Mario World. I am incredibly smart, so they call me the smartest person in my life. No one does that. No one calls me the smartest person in my life. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lie. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Please. Please. There we go. <laughs> Okay, that's that's another moment where I'm like, really that that happened. That that's the thing that I did. This game really likes using P switches. Um, actually, no, Mario Three does that as well. The thing is, I've also never beaten Mario Three. I, I th that's why I chose this game because I'm like, I've I've never beaten Mario Three. It's kind of too difficult for me. <laughs> Like, actual late game Mario 3 is not easy. Oh. I pressed down on a single, a single pipe. Didn't do that with any of the other ones. Now suddenly dolphins. God. Oh god. Oh no. Get me on the dolphins, please. It's probably just skips part of the level or something. Nice! Oh, that skips the whole level! <laughs> nice! Oh, we have a bonus game. Wait, uh, first let's... Uh... Okay, that's, that's, that's all good. But yeah, uh, welcome back, Dylan. Oh my god, look at that! Was that four? Yeah. Nice. 46 lives. We're, we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. We have a we have a good buffer for the later stages. Ghost house. Okay. Oh, it's this one. Oh, I, I always found this really clever as well. Disappearing floor. Uh... Alright, 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 alright. This one's- this one's a, a, a platforming first kind of ghost house. Most of them are like, sort of puzzly, mainly. same scene. Oh yeah, these ones these ones have never reappeared in any game and I think they're the coolest shit ever. Like, you could make such a cool level out of these. Like, they turn into rocks! <laughs> oh, I think I might need to be able to go into that door up there. Alrighty then! <laughs> No, we can make this. I just kind of want a power up, you know. I know, I, like, I have one occasionally, but like, okay, we have a mushroom now, so not not a. Not a lot, but it's some thing. So, yeah, but, like, you can actually like 
Okay. Let's take these guys with me, because they might be useful. I thought they just immediately turn into rocks. It's like, yeah, instant rockification. You can make a joke out of this, I'm not going to, though. Ooh. Oh, that's very conveniently placed. <laughs> oh. How convenient! <laughs> oh, there we go, 23. I think we're gonna go through the whole game today. We're, we're getting there. Slowly, but we are getting there. Chocolate Island 2. Oh, this level, I remember this. I thought the mountain theme in, uh, or the, uh, the desert... Well, no, this is how the mountain theme was, but there was no mountain theme in Mario Maker 2. <laughs> Though Mario World has the desert theme, which is close enough. It's kind of like this. Oh, it was because it was... The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, why? Why can't I? Why? Why can't I get this Yoshi? And then it was like, oh, it's because I'm holding a spring. And then I jumped on the Yoshi, and I freaking died on the Yoshi. Okay, I'm not gonna grab the spring. I probably do need it for something, but. Yeah, I don't get the dinosaur coins. Uh, I'm not gonna get all of them. Like, uh, yeah, it's probably best if I get all of them, but... 45 degree slopes in this game are nerve-wracking as all hell because they push you down them. Like, I mean, that would be realistic. If I was standing on a 45 degree slope, I would, I'd have the same, but that's not what you'd expect to happen. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel so bad for killing the Yoshis. Okay, we have two mushrooms. Oh, we have a lot of mushrooms. I'm guessing I don't want mushrooms. Is this like, is this like one of those Mario Maker levels? That, like, you don't want a mushroom? Also, suddenly, ground theme? Honestly, playing this game, I kind of just want to make like a ROM hack. Because, <laughs> you know, you know, you always see Mario World ROM hacks and they're always like, oh, here's a Kaizo, here's a slightly easier Kaizo. And I'm just like, I want to play a traditional Mario level. Why is that not a ROM hack thing? And I get that like, you know, the ROM hacks are, ROM hacks are for people who really care and are good at Mario. Ah, this is the level in that one Game Maker's Toolkit uh, episode. Yeah, so this is another sequel level where, you know, we've been we've been evolving our methodology here for a while in terms of how we're saying this, but this is this platform is not a verb because it's only used in these two levels. So it's a gimmick, but it's a gimmick used twice. And that's very interesting. Um more specifically, I think most gimmicks in this game are actually used twice. And that's very that's kind of weird, but pretty. I know there's. I know. I don't want to say that. There's like a bunch of coins, but it's a bonus room. But you can see, you know, modern design philosophy happening here, where you know, even you know, the checkpoint. Oh, well, the checkpoint is optional. It's a. Uh, it's a bit of a challenge to get it. Modern Mario games wouldn't do that. They'd put a, a question block there and put the checkpoint below or before that little uh, challenge. You can see fuzzies. They go all around the platform. You know, this this level probably evolves this platform mechanic, but then what's weird is that the level the level that this is an evolution of also has the uh, the other type of platform, the one on on tracks. God damn it, I'm not doing well here, am I? Okay, let's try and take things carefully. Okay. 
Yeah, so you see kind of, kind of, kind of evolution of that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is, this is such an evil ending of awful. I don't think the Game Maker's Toolkit episode talks about this, but the actual exit is past here. <laughs> this is the actual exit. The other one just brings you around where you were. Such an evil thing to do, but it's hilarious. 40, nice, nice, pretty good. Okay, uh, let's also have a gander at chat again. Welcome back, Vanta, welcome back. Everyone falling up. Happy Halloween! <laughs> he just went off the homelander mode, it's been crazy today. Good to hear you all have been, uh, have been up to stuff. I mean, for Vanta, it's like pretty late as well. That's Chocolate Fortress. Sounds so, ta sounds so tasty. Wow, my chair is really, uh, really making a lot of very healthy noises for a chair to be making. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the, the gimmick of this level. So you can kind of see, like, it is the modern design philosophy, but in parts where you see a, a gimmick being used in one level, and then it's used in another, but some gimmicks aren't. I believe this spike is only used in this level, or maybe in the post game. I, 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 I don't count the post game as it can have a variety of mixed gimmicks. Like, that's just how the game is. Ah, oh, goddammit. Very good. Can come to the boss fight without any power up. <laughs> Do I just like? Yep. <laughs> yep. I do like the the basic like color palette. Just Jesus Christ. And you can see in the second half, the gimmick becomes thwomps. So it's like one gimmick is used and then in elaborated on very shortly and then some levels go okay here's a second gimmick here's thwomps and thwomps as well okay i i, I should have come on okay not looking good going into the boss fight. Oh, that's nuts. Ah, look! <laughs> A reward for my exploration. This is what I mean. Like, it makes the game easier by... Even the door, the door has a chocolate color. Oh, it's Resnor! I forgot about that, yeah. You need to be careful here, because if you don't, if you don't land on the platform, you still die. Okay. Oh god, I forgot about- I forgot Resnor was in this game. I must think of him as a new Super Mario Bros. 2- oh, of him, of them, as a new Super Mario Bros. 2 enemy. Oh, I thought we were directly going to the to the castle, but no, apparently not. Oh, these diagonal platforms. These are weird. I they're funky, but they're they're, they're weird. I'm just gonna go up. I've been gracefully rewarded. That's why these slopes are also 45 degrees, and they make you go down. These ones are not. Do you think? So I've always seen the green as grass. Do you think it's supposed to be like slime or something sticky that keeps you on the slope? Because yeah, I'm I'm not falling down it. I'm not sliding down it. And this music. Also, there's like no enemies in this level. 
pure platforming chat. Oh my god, I would have died. And I get a free mushroom. Nice! Again, I've been gracefully rewarded for my exploration of prowess. We get a, we get a little switch. Oh my god, it's the big mole. It's the real guy. He is real. He is here, and he just died. <laughs> Poor lad. Oh, let's see on the lava already. This is a weird one. So the gimmick, again, it's so weird. The first half of the level, the gimmick is the platforms. Then it turns into the big moles for a really short time. So it's like... I don't know, I don't... The levels in this game aren't very focused, are they? <laughs> okay, we have, we have something. Uh, but... I guess the main thing I'm supposed to do is not... look at level design, but more about the mechanics that there are. But the mechanics are... You know, you have the world map where a lot of... Like, I think you need to talk about the design to talk about the mechanics, right? It's like, there's no reason to talk about, oh the, oh, the world map allows you to move wherever you like. But, like, why is that relevant? Well, that's relevant because it... You know, you could actually get different routes and secret exits and stuff. Why would I do that? Why would I hit the piece with... Oh, there's a pipe there, though. <laughs> that worked? <laughs> Oh my god, really? That's it? The yeah, more lives are nice, but... I hope I'm just going left to right. It's not going well for me, I'm... <laughs> it's not going well. Maybe we have some simple platforming. Yeah, I don't think the level design is really something to... Like, I really feel like they had some sort of idea of what they wanted the vibe of a level to be like. And then just kind of added stuff. Until it made sense. And they do make, make uh, sense. Oh, sorry, a bunch of chat messages I've... Uh... Uh, so, oh my god, I've missed so much. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I've missed so many messages. Uh, but when someone pulled the fire alarm today, open for, <laughs> oh, for Mario. The bus dropped me off uh, at a random spot. Open, open the door. Wow, open the door. The bus driver feel chaotic. He was, well, completely new route. <laughs> me mean, when I abuse my membership for the emojis. Hey, the emojis are there for a reason, you know? Same walk home, uh, though, so I'm fine. Good for you, then. <laughs> How much have you donated? Doing the stream, $3. I am poor. You donated $3! You are not poor! <laughs> you donated $3 to a streamer. <laughs> so, so show some super sandal support. Don't even have dollars. I'm living in Asia. You can actually donate, I think, in whatever you want, but... Absolutely no pressure to do that, obviously. Uh, we all have... We have people all around the globe then now. <laughs> one Piece every episode tier list. Oh, One Piece. One, I, I thought One Piece every... Yeah, One Piece. Um, Yeah, no, I really want to watch the movie, but apparently you need to, like, know some stuff. This personal pool. International <laughs> chat. <laughs> Forget one more <laughs> Maybe I should change the ads to only be like uh, less to, to to show up less often. But yeah, One Piece. I really want to watch the movie because there's auto music in it, and I really want to listen to it in the original context it was supposed to be made for. But um, apparently, you need to like watch some stuff before then, and some stuff means like a thousand episodes, and I don't want to do that. Oh my god, they are throwing bones, like in Mario Maker. So they add that later on? Oh my god. Ugh! Yeah, that was a very good use of my time. Oh, this is one of the saw blades. Yeah. Let me jump over them. Yeah, this level is again then, like, pretty focused. Where it's like, it's... 
mainly based on saw blades and skewers, sure. So you kind of get an idea of the way the design is, and you, you, you can see that it's... Yeah, there's only two things on screen right now, both of the level gimmick. <laughs> oh, that was a horribly timed jump. These have like. Wait, that doesn't have a power up in it? The blue one doesn't have a power up in it? That's evil. Get me on the block. Alright. Yes. Oh my god, this. You can see it gets more it gets more difficult as time goes on. Very focused. And then let me guess, we go through the door and it's completely different. <laughs> I don't get this design. I guess it's just like two gimmicks. Oh no. And then I lost my freaking reserve item as well. It's because I got hit before I fell down a pit. At least there's a checkpoint. On the bright side, there's a checkpoint. Free chest point. That's what I wanted to do last time. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Look, at least I have a checkpoint and 53 lives. <laughs> I have some lives to burn, don't worry. We're all in this together. Gonna have to jump over. Oh my god! <laughs> I did that whole first half of the level, first try, and then this is what I struggle with? Basic ass platforming? Look, at least the level's benevolent, it gives me a mushroom. Okay, that, that's what I wanted to do last time, that's, that's the thing. Note. Don't. <laughs> okay, let's 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 concentrate. Let's do this. He says as if he wasn't concentrating before. Concentration. <laughs> Kind of a shame I can't run this game with the. Oh well, I I could, but not, not no legal entity is stopping me from doing that. But I usually use like a really really shitty CRT filter because that's how the game would actually look on a consumer CRT. Not very good, but that's how it was, and I kind of want to enjoy the games as they originally were. You know? <laughs> ah! <laughs> that 
was the last jump as well. At least I know I can do it now. You know the funnest part? I still need to do a boss fight after this. And there's no second checkpoint in this level, believe me, there's no second checkpoint just anywhere, I think, in this game. Actually, I'm not entirely sure. Why did I do that again? Why did I do that again? What is wrong with me? I may be stupid. I love how it always looks like that guy's looking at me. Oh my god, I just realized he blinks. How, how does that blinking animation work? Yeah, look, he blinks! I'm not going mad. The big guy blinks. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Skill issue. <laughs> Skill issue. <laughs> Where does that term even come from? Who, who invented the term skill issue? Uh, no. <laughs> That... <laughs> okay, I'm one cycle quicker this time, which doesn't really mean much. How did I die at the same spot again? Well, the thing is, I can't go too far because I'll fall off the goddamn platform. Video games, very fun. Die the first enemy. Less fun. Remember when we had 52 lives? <laughs> Good times! Yeah, come on. Things, it's just so much waiting, I'm so impatient. <laughs> Come on. Play the video game. If you if you do it and you do it right and you don't fuck it up then you beat Super Mario World. Why did I not why did I not jump? Why did I not do that? Why did I not jump? I have to sit here doing hot potato with this fucker over here. Somehow I've managed to time that platform correctly every single time, and it impresses me as much as it does you, believe in me. No! <laughs> I'm fine, I swear, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything is fine. Did you come here to, to watch me rage over a 
30 year old video game. Yeah, fun, funnily enough. Super... I did the thing. I did the thing. The thing, I did it. Are you proud of me? Fuck. Just, just go, just go. Just go. Fuck. <sighs> Fuck. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. And he still, and I still, it's one, it's one platform. I shouldn't try and risk it. I, I, I keep trying to risk, risk that jump. It's not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Wait, the cycles are different, aren't they? Oh. Fuck, I shouldn't have missed that. I probably could have even made it if I didn't get cold feet. How many lives have I lost? What, 12? 13? <laughs> On this level alone, I mean. Remember remember when, when in the first world I hadn't died at all? Good, good fucking times, aren't they? Getting hit by that guy threw off my timing. I know that's an excuse. But... It's, all, it's all I have left in life. So every time I think I, I, I'm gonna like... I'm like sitting here in silence, I go like, okay, I'm gonna do one of these runs fully silent. Focusing. And then... I do that, and I, I still die. Thanks, hitboxes. I guess I was on the guy. The thing is, like, there's no one to blame but myself, you know? <laughs> oh, I love how he turns around to face you and then fucking dies. <laughs> now, this doesn't mean anything. Believe in me, this does not mean anything. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, 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 good. Oh, good. Yes. Very nice. We're just, we're just getting started. 
We just we're just getting started. <laughs> I need to keep the mushroom. There's there's really no other way around it. I just need that. I was just didn't even hit I just missed the platform almost there. Let the guy kill himself. We don't need this. We don't need him. N -n -n stop, stop. Piss off. Piss off. Yes. Yes. No. I. How did he so cleanly kill himself last time? How did he do that? How? No, okay. B change of plans. Don't don't let the dry bones kill himself. Yes! <laughs> One more world to go, I think. I think it's just the Bowser world left. Oh my god. Talk about a... Talk, talk, talk about a life sap, huh? <laughs> oh my god. Thanks, Mario. Let's go. Let's go have a little chat gander. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Oh my god, I miss so much again. <laughs> oh my god, I missed like a whole screen again. I'm so sorry. Um, I have an ad blocker. I will turn it off. Oh my god. I'm using a VPN. Ah, it's fine using ad blocker. Like, you know, I'm not earning that much anyway. Like, you know, you you donating like what was it, three three bucks over the course of the stream was probably more than like I don't know, a month of ad revenue. <laughs> so it's it's uh, they have a bone Fanta Fanta, come on. They have a bone to pick with me. Uh which state did you go? Yeah, just a basic one. Ah, it's all fine. I'm going to see if I can get a job at Nintendo Life. Also, what is this mewing thing I keep hearing about? Probably <laughs> short and can't jump. I little know Mario a chat. You will lose all your lives. Haha, <laughs> I proved you wrong. I proved you wrong. Shun the non-believer. But the little one, he is a son of fire. <laughs> Looks like the big one is too. <laughs> okay, now it's son of a gun. We're proud of you, Silo. Thank you. <laughs> He's using a 360 controller. Uh, no, I'm using... Wait, did Virtuarch say that at some point? I'm using an 8 Do controller. Uh, it reports as a 360 controller, but it's like a Switch controller or something. It's a really good one. That's like a really nice D-pad. Okay, you will break his phone. Stop dying. <laughs> you did it. That, yes, I, I did it. 
Uh, thank you so much, Vantel. Vantel? Vantel? <laughs> Vantel. <laughs> Thank you so much for everyone who's sticking around. I, I can't I can't see like how many people are watching the stream at a certain point in time. But like thank you all for, for being here. Isn't there like a thing you can get down here? Oh no. no way. Oh no, that was that I think the thing you can get down there, that's that one um, ROM hack, isn't it? The uh, the one called I Hate You or something. Like really, really trying to be Mario EXE. What's what's over here? Is there nothing over here? No, there's, no, there's nothing to do over here. <laughs> I always found this such a cool level. Like a, like a ruined ship. Like ghosts in it. They, they put ghosts in a ship. Okay. I knew that was the case, but I... Oh my god, they change? Like, if they didn't keep moving... Okay... Okay... These two can... Okay, okay, okay. First room, first room. Good. Star. Oh yeah, wait, this 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 area. We've basically done most of the uh, difficult part. There's just like an orb in the middle. If I remember correctly. Like yeah, if you want like a cool thingy, then yeah. Just go go in the middle roughly. Actually I have no idea what the middle is, but <laughs> Oh god. Oh god, wait, do I actually have to dodge stuff now? <gasps> I did it! <laughs> Everything is fine! Everything is completely fine! <laughs> okay, but with 37 lives, we're probably gonna make it. I mean, if I... If one level saps 37 of my lives, I'm, uh... Yeah. Yeah, they have the cool Bowser thing. Man, I remember this. Yeah. So we have, yeah, we have one more uh, castle and then Bowser's Castle, essentially. There's also the back door that you can go to. But I have no idea how to get there. Oh, the moles. It's the moles. I, no, I don't even know what time it is. I, I'm just realizing, like, I, how long have I been streaming? <laughs> I thought we went from going like, mm, yes, the design verbs to fucking beat the level. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Things I do think that level is pretty well designed. It definitely has flaws, but like... <laughs> I'm not interacting with that. <laughs> Give me, give me the funky moles anytime, but but the football players, no. I remember there was there was some. I think it's retro game mechanics explained or something. There was some channel. Where it was like step one: eat a football player. <laughs> it was like about Mario World matches or something. Like wrong warps. Let's do a let's do a funky night. I swear there's oh okay. I swear there's a little bit of input lag. It's probably, like, this TV isn't very good. I probably, if I was playing on my monitor, I'd probably... Because, like, in a game like this, you need that, like, instant... Like, you know, a few frames off can, can be... Can bean? I combined the word B and mean. Okay, can you not, please? Yeah, there he is again. Ooh, 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 ooh. Like brick breaking? Like it's mainly moles and yeah. Okay, I think I kind of get it. I think I kind of get the design philosophy. There's two things, two main things that are either combined or separated into two separate areas of the level. That's how it seems to me. Um. 
So let's let's turn on. How, how's my phone doing? Twenty percent. We can live with twenty percent. We can we can turn on the screen screen preview again. Uh, it's enough. Okay, so uh, there's a secret exit in this level. No clue where it is though. Oh yeah, look, this is another sequel level. So that's what's weird. Like there are sequel levels like this. This is a sequel to the one of the first levels actually. I don't I don't know what it's called. But... <laughs> I didn't know they could hit blocks like that. That's funny. I mean, they probably behave just like shells, which can do that. Hmm. You know what? Let's just leave him over there. He's, he's grand. He's having a grand old time. The thing is, I call this a sequel level, but... It's mainly in visual aesthetic, like, truly, it's not really the same level. Like, yeah, it's moving, it's moving stuff again. I do think, okay, I think the reason I was a little bit confused was because these moving blocks are a verb. These are a design verb, because they, they reuse a ton. Oh my god, I could literally skip them. Oh, that's the secret exit! If I get those, I can- okay, so... What? Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's the secret exit. So if I want to go back with the Yoshi, I could. This is also pretty cool. So these crusher blocks are... What? Oh, I need to go to them on the downturn. Okay. Wait, but what if I go back to the Yoshi now? Where, where, where could I quickly get a Yoshi from here? <laughs> you know where I could quickly get a Yoshi if I go all the way back? Is that worth it? Is it worth it walking all the way back to get a Yoshi and maybe even losing him before I even get that? Let's not. Let's just play level as I'm supposed to. <laughs> and we have a checkpoint. Incredible. We've lost that checkpoint. Oh yeah, wait. The thing. There you go. Concentration. We need to play the video game. We're now sort of getting to the point where it's going to go up into that little nook. Now we're sort of getting to the point where I can't really do much great commentary because... Okay, yeah, we can get this. Because the game's actually getting like hard enough that I need to fully concentrate on that. But for now, we're good. Oh, come on. I have to. I have to. <laughs> I'm greedy like that. I literally can't get all of them anymore. But like, I'll, I'll have two. Forever in my heart. <sighs> oh, that was close! That was really close. That was scary. God, these are getting, these are getting, they're getting a little, a little close for comfort, aren't they? Money. I need those four coins. God forbid what I do without fifty-one coins in my bank right now. <sighs> these are these are close shaves. I think I'm gonna wait for this and then the down. <gasps> That's not what that is for. That's a buff. 
Okay, that's kind of evil. <laughs> that's that's kind of evil. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but that's... Don't do that. That's not good level design. There we go. I wonder why they put that over there. Like, I guess it's for me specifically. Well, not me specifically, but people like me. <laughs> That sounded incredibly egotistical. <laughs> yeah, so back in 1990, they made, they made that block there specifically for me to make the game easier to play. God, I'm so clever. The only unrealistic thing about that accent was that he should have said, oh heavens, instead of God. Incredibly exhilarating gameplay. <laughs> yeah, let's just let's just go past here, right? No, I see coin I need, but I don't really need. How's your day going? Oh, wait. I did. Oh. Ah. Also, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put chat on again in a second. I just I'm, I'm too busy with this Mario level. Ah. Okay, that's that's what we do. Concentration. Don't die. That was close. That was maybe a little too close, some might say. Alright. Uh, oh, the level's not done yet. Actually, you know what? Before I do, I'm gonna quickly pause because my phone still needs to, like, who is starting Android killing a man? <laughs> moving. Oh, it starts moving when I do. Oh, that's fun. Hello, Mr. Mo. Okay, hello there. Oh, <gasps> yes! Yes! Okay, I could have gotten, like, a higher thing on that. Let's open YouTube up again and, uh... Pop in the Ethernet again. My PC's probably, like, so pissed at me for, like, unplugging and replugging my phone all the time. <laughs> All right, we have the preview again. Nine people are here. Wait, nine people are here. Thank you so much, all. Okay, let's just quickly check audio again. Yeah, it's fine. Audio seems fine. Sorry if you heard me twice there for a second. Clutch it up for real. Uh. V Vandal? <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. Son of a wall. You need, but you don't. Yo, he's back from the pool. No way, nine people. Yeah, nine people are watching. Thank you all so much for being here. This is like some of the highest in-stream viewership I think I've ever had. And it's on Mario World. That's, that's sick. I didn't know this game still had so much of an audience. I remember... Um, way back... Well, why do I keep saying way back in the day? Um, back in the day... Because it, it, it semi recent, it was like two years ago, I think. Uh, I did a stream of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I don't remember if this was before or after my video on it. And I remember, uh, I don't know if Yarn is still here. I remember him going, like, oh, that game's from 2017, so old. This was 2022, mind you. I was like, 2017, so old. What do I do? Can I take the P switch with me? Oh, yeah, wait, you can't do that. Oh, oh, stuff appears. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm guessing I should have gone the other direction. Or not? What is this ghost house? I, 
think you need this coin trail for something, but I don't... I know, I can't do anything with it. I don't have a P-switch in this room. Okay, what does this door go? Where does this door go? Oh, back here? Okay, let's go right. So let's grab the star. Watch me die because I wanted to grab the star specifically. Oh. Well, now I know where I need to go. <laughs> oh, this brings me back to the beginning of the level. Okay. Let's just run. Okay, 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 okay. There are so many doors! Why are there so many doors? Okay, let's go for the last one. That probably is, yeah, okay, that seems right. Oh. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have instantly used that, should I? Yeah. Got the- oh, come on. That was a... Sorry, the sweet chat again. Um, Sound of the stream audio check twice, twice. Exactly. Open the fucking door. I didn't... I, it's probably an inside joke. I've, I, or, or it's something that I just am not familiar with. Why did they put their... What? Mum? Okay, I'm not even going to try and say that. <laughs> Okay. Don't blind blindly use P switches. <laughs> this is a decent way. Oh my god, I have seventy seven seconds left. Ah. Uh... Oh. Yeah, I may be stupid. We're gonna time out. <laughs> So we're just gonna do a, a dive. Yeah, 43 seconds left. I'm not. I think things ain't gonna go well here. The main thing I want to figure out is where's the door? Is oh no, I'm just in general I'm screwed if I use that once. If I if I hit that block once, I'm just. But then, where's the door? Oh, it's up there! Okay, wait, I can actually just make that, I think. Okay, so at least I know what I'm going for. At least I know what I what I need to get. They put the Mumstrschrift in the- Oh, yeah, no, I've, I've seen that one, yeah. They put the Master Chief in the soda or something like that, but it's like- <laughs> Written like a caveman, I would say it. God damn it. Yeah, without a cape feather, I'm not making that. Yeah, I have to, uh. I should be happy if I can make this at all. Oh, yeah, I even make it to the one up. Nice! Okay. Do the thing. If you do the thing and you do it right and you don't fuck it up. Ah. Small issue. <sighs> yep, yeah, might as well die now. <laughs> God, that's not easy to control when you're also controlling Mario at the same time. I guess it's just like make staircase. Mini Mario, not Super Mario. <laughs> Just sounds like someone's speaking in Dutch now. <laughs> I 
I don't think you go faster with a star in this game. I love how one of the, the invincibility frame animations is literally just Luigi. <laughs> Wait, why did I do that? I'm stupid! <laughs> Sees a piece which instantly hits it. Go get a big boy orphanage. <laughs> I don't want to go all the way back to get Big Mario. I have to go all the way to, like, super secret area. I really don't want to do that. Okay, at least I have Big Mario. Get double the amount of coins. Looks like Mario is sparkling. Hey, look, at least I'm key I keep getting one up, so like it doesn't even matter that I keep dying. <laughs> okay. Okay, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wait for this. I'm just gonna go up. I don't know if this is right or not, but I freaking hope so. Ah. Should I just kill myself? Like, there is a way out for me here, which is fine. I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll try it. Should have done that last minute on that other one. I just thought of that right before right before the P-Switch ended. So if I just do this two more times now, <laughs> grab the P-Switch. Oh. No, the coins just disappear. Yeah, no, really, I might as well kill myself. <laughs> this is not an easy... Okay, fine. We'll do the P-Switch first this time, then. The son of a gun. <laughs> yeah, this is not the... Um... Not the most logical of ghost houses. I do like the transparent mushroom. Oh, come on, I pressed jump. I know I was on a slope, but I pressed jump. Am I, am I losing brain cells? I think I am. Alright. P-Switch. Okay, fine. Let's do P-Switch first. Okay, that's fine. We're good. We're golden. We are not golden. <laughs> I'm supposed to do this. Oh. Oh wait, you need to be at full running. Okay. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get all the coins, because it's funny. Yeah, no, full running speed is required for that. Nice. No, let's go into the final door. I don't know. I don't know what this, this has. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Excuse me, what? <laughs> at home after my walk, bro goes outside. Imagine, I haven't seen the sun in years. Incredible. That was a secret exit. I spent so much of my time get trying to get a secret exit, it wasn't even required. <laughs> it's just me that the Koopas jump way higher in this game than they do in any other. Okay, yeah, this is how they're supposed to go, why are the other ones so... I have... Wait, what? <laughs> Trying to say a sentence while doing platforming is not. 
You think you you think that like after what five years of doing this, and even more technically, like technically I've been doing YouTube since like 2016. Um, please, like, well, I say please. You cannot watch those videos anymore. Which is first. They're also in Dutch, so <laughs> you know, not very easy to to listen to. Uh, but, yeah, you'd think that after all this time I'd get better at, you know, doing commentary while also being decent at video games. Uh, the answer is no. <laughs> you know, if you're someone like me who... To be honest, I say I play video games, I don't play video games enough. <laughs> like, I legitimately really want to play more video games, but I... All the time I don't have time for it, or there's a bullet bill in my face. No, uh... <laughs> okay, uh, Valley of Bowser. 2016, so underrated. Well, no, 2016 era Sandal... Well, it wasn't Sandal then, it was, uh... Well... I had two names back then. Both were in Dutch, <laughs> so I'm I'm not gonna bother. Uh, but yeah, those those were not very good videos. And same for season zero videos. There's some that are like, I think some of them are fine, but where season one of DVU is like, ah ha ha, there's some jank, but it's still you know you, you get what he's trying to say. Season zero is like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> No. Me watching the season zero D view is getting friends to try. No, <laughs> no, 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 not, not, not. Uh, that was not D view. That was like back in 2016. I mean, that was Minecraft Let's Plays in in Dutch. Season zero D view is you can you can watch that. <laughs> it's in English. It sucks, but you can watch it. No one's stopping you. <laughs> If you want something particularly shitty, you can watch the Animal Crossing video released on the release date of Animal Crossing, when I had not played the game yet. You may notice that's not the best time for a review. <laughs> I know, even nowadays, the channel still has some drag, and I'm kind of okay with keeping it that way. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not... I'm not here like, oh no, there's has to be... You know, I, I think part of the reason I also kind of stopped uh, uploading as much, and this is not the main... I tried to do a fucking spring mid -air in Mario World, I don't think you can do that in this game. <laughs> not to mention I wouldn't be able to anyway! <laughs> Mario puts it down so gently. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. Like in most games, like if you're, I think it's you have to be crouching for it to be uh, or pressed down. At least I don't think you can crouch while holding something for it to be put down carefully. Otherwise, Mario's just like, yeah, we're gonna yeet it across the entire world. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, did, wait, did I even finish that uh, last thought I had where it was uh, you know, part of the reason I didn't really upload for uh, for a while? And this was, again, not the main reason, as most of it was just like, I was busy, I was depressed. <laughs> no, okay, no, that, that, that's putting it a bit far, but now, um, The Me Chronicles was one. You know, every, every one of the years uh, has been like, oh, this wasn't the way, this wasn't the way. Uh, first half of season two, it was the Me Chronicle. Second half of season two, uh, what was it? The second half of season two? I don't even remember what it was. Like first half of season. Uh, actually, I, I I say that, but there's no there's there's no real excuse. It was just the Me Chronicles, basically. Nowadays, no, okay. Nowadays, I have the excuse of oh, I, I'm busy. <laughs> just kind of shitty excuse. Like yeah, I oh, that's what I expected the platform to do. Like yeah, um. 
I am definitely more busy, but I, I still have time to occasionally work on a YouTube video. It's just like, when I'm sitting down to work on a YouTube video, it's like, you can't sit down for like, 20 minutes and work on that for a second, you know? You have to sit down for like three hours. Thanks for the motorbiker who just, I don't know, killed someone on the road. <laughs> probably didn't even hear that outside. <laughs> this, you know, for a, for a five dollar mic, the one that I have here at home for uh, for streams, it's honestly fine. Definitely not good, but it's, 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 it's acceptable. That was an interesting thing. Uh, interesting platforming challenge. Oh yes, Yoshi! Okay, we're gonna... I, I always love this. Like, it's kind of janky, but... That you can, like, spin jump on Yoshi and then he will... Carry the... No! Look at where I am now. Compared, well, now I'm dead. <laughs> Does I change it to all messages just in case I'm like missing some? Very... Oh wow, there's there's a bunch of messages. I don't get this. YouTube is sometimes just like, yeah, that's not. Nine watches. I mean, pilot event. Yeah, well, I'll dig up your old videos and learn Dutch. <laughs> I know what you're saying. I disconnected what happened. Uh, I probably died. <laughs> Some streamer acknowledges vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> I was just, I'm just imagining that as like a, like a news headline. Press Y. Why does that start? <laughs> does that start the level? I mean, I'm not complaining. I did want to start, but I thought it was just immediately. You can't jump on those. Should have probably realized that. Oh yeah, I just realized what the five bucks was was about. It was the uh, the, the mic? Yeah, and it's like it's, a, it's it's like a full headset as well. Disconnected again. It's not a stream issue, is it? Oh, that seems fine on my, uh, on my thingy. And with my thingy, I mean my preview. <laughs> and with my preview, I mean not my preview in OBS, I mean my preview on my phone. It's becoming way too technical. Quick! <laughs> Caveman speak! Ooga booga! <laughs> Mario dies! <laughs> also, I, my star, my, my star thing is 69 as well. Um, so yeah, you permanently have that number at the corner. Well, not permanently, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it that way. I'm <laughs> Please stop throwing rocks! <laughs> oh. This guy really likes his rocks. That's a really tight jump. That's actually legitimately a really tight jump. I really don't want to go back to like get a power up or something like that because I I'd lose my checkpoint. I don't want that. Okay, now this guy turns into a normal tar charging truck, which is how charging trucks work. Okay, finally I've made. I was like, finally I made that jump for once, and I couldn't reach it. <laughs> Yeah, that was not the smartest move. Come on, throw your rock. Still dies. We're having a bit of a bit of a Wendy's Castle. Uh, moment 
these. There we go. Wow, that is before the credits, having to do a jump on a Koopa above a lava pit. Bro has rock instead of brain. <laughs> Streamer commits first degree murder on football play and then falls into the lava. <laughs> yeah, it's completely normal, isn't it? The thing, well, the thing is, I didn't kill him. He's falling into the lava. <laughs> That's his fault. <laughs> That's not my problem. Should have looked out better when you were pissed at me. Why do we keep getting hit by that guy? Wow, I somehow dodged that. How would I even get that? Oh, I need Yoshi. Okay, no. Oh no, I didn't get- Oh! God damn it, I'm stupid. Now I don't have 69 anymore. I don't know, I have 96. That, that's any- <laughs> That's of any help to you, I have 96. Okay, we have Larry. We can do this. We're close. Only this level and Bowser's cast. Yeah. 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 We're ready for this. Don't worry. We're, we're totally ready for this. I'm sorry, what? Jesus Christ! Mushroom. Give me my mushroom. So I'm just like sitting here in silence, but like, oh, that barely, barely didn't hit me. Uh, meow. How have I not gotten hit yet? door. I don't know. I think that's where I was supposed to go. Oi! 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 Oh. Wait, is there just no way for me to progress anymore? Did I just go like, yeah, hey, fuck you? <laughs> Okay, well... 
Yeah. Uh, Sandler, I have a question. Growing after you fell in lava, that's how it feels to do five gum! Uh, when people super chat, does YouTube make money too? Yes. Uh, YouTube takes some cut of it. I don't exactly know how much. But yes, YouTube does take some cut of it, which I'm not the biggest fan of, and I think that's the reason most people have Patreon instead of, um... Um, like... What's that? Memberships? Yeah. And as, as, as I said, I want to do a Patreon, but not specifically for this channel, just in general, like the minute games stuff. Like, I think kind of, you know, the offset is how many people are willing to go to a different website to donate rather than just doing it all on YouTube versus YouTube, you know, takes a cut from it. That's kind of... In, in my in, in in my mind it's kind of like with Steam where it's you you kind of just have to put up with it because you do have alternatives but the alternatives are gonna attract far less far fewer people so but like yeah if you put your game on GOG yeah sure it's it's uh, actually I don't know how much of a cut GOG takes but for example itch doesn't take anything. As far as I know, uh, maybe they do. I'm I'm not entirely sure, but I've I've, I've never put a paid game on Edge. Uh, but either way, your cut's going to be a lot smaller, but the amount of people buying your game is also going to be relatively smaller. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Use my knowledge of the game's camera to my advantage. Okay. Now he's inside of that block! <laughs> wow, they say this game doesn't have uh, jank. Yeah, it's just good. Yeah, it's, it's just really good, but it's a lot smaller of a platform than Steam is. As I said, like, if you're, if you're publishing on PC, you don't have much of a choice. You're going to give 30% of your revenue to, to Valve. Because even if you put it on other platforms as well as Steam, Steam's going to be the most popular. <laughs> and it's likely that, you know, rounding errors, you're still going to give 30% of your money to Valve. <laughs> I do think Valve should decrease their, uh, their cuts. Like, at least, like, 20%. Like, I'm... They probably aren't going to do 11% like uh, Epic, but... I mean, they have no reason to even go below 30%, that's the thing, they have no reason to do that. They have no incentive, no one's, you know, they're still THE market leader, and very little is stopping that at the moment. Look, I'm, I think I'm a bit of a realist when it comes to Valve, because a lot of people see Valve as this, like, INCREDIBLE, PERFECT gaming company that cannot do wrong. Believe they me, they can do wrong, they have done wrong in the past. Uh, they, they're, they're a company like any other. The the only difference is that they're a privately owned company, not a publicly traded one. Which can give them some leeway. But yeah, Val Valve can do some really weird stuff as well. Some really anti-consumer stuff as well. Whereas, you know, Nintendo is, is often anti-consumer. Valve is more anti-developer. <laughs> Oi, that went through them. That's not fair. Oh. <sighs> nice. If I just let them spawn here instead. Yeah. There we go. Nice! Yeah, I even still have my mushroom. Can I go back to the middle? Yeah. Yeah, I'm working on it! <laughs>
Oh wait, there is a repeat of this. I didn't remember that. <laughs> I didn't remember there was a repeat of that boss fight. Fully fine with Valve taking 30% as they do things like developing Proton, etc. Uh, I've heard the game prefer to give money to develop, especially in the games. Yeah, I back in the day, like as a, as a kid, I you no know, my my dad would pirate stuff for me, but you know, I, I I I sort of inherited that um, pension pen, pensions for piracy, uh, if you will. And yeah, wow, two lives left. Ooh, things aren't going well. But yeah, I don't think so, though, personally. I think 30% is a lot for every copy of a game sold. Um, Proton is nice, but, you know, developing Proton is a very fun thing for Valve to do, and I do, I, I personally uh, agree with that. Oh, not not agree with it. Support that uh, that project, but not every developer does. And I don't think that you know, as any developer should like go, hey, like I get you know the money is used for. Okay, I didn't get that mushroom this time. Yay, yay, nice, very cool. Not even have mushroom in the first place. Valve, like, the thing is, Valve shouldn't be making decisions on my behalf as a developer. I think that's that's the main point I'm trying to make here. And I know they aren't. Like, the 30% cut is not for Proton. They could e just as easily be developing Proton with even, a, even an 11% cut. Nice! I'm getting actively worse at the video game. Development is a long process and I'd like to make sure developers get some money. Yeah, exactly. But I don't have dollars so I can, can, can pay for nothing. Doesn't it auto-convert? Yeah, Steam should auto-convert that stuff. Actually, it, it not even auto-convert, it should... Well, I think that's up until recently. Like, if you made like a, like a Turkish Steam account, I think it was, you would pay like half the price everyone else did. I think recently they changed that, though. <sighs> Lives aren't looking as, uh, as rosy anymore with these 26. I don't remember how game overs work in this game, but they are likely not the best. Actually, isn't it that game overs in this game just get you to like the last level? Because the game saves, doesn't it? Mushroom. Okay. Because I, I just need the mushroom. Without the mushroom, I, I. The amount of lava bubbles I put in the freaking boss room. This level really needs a checkpoint. Like, not for like being easy or whatever, it's just like, this takes a really long time. We spent about half the time just waiting out on, on the, uh... I jumped on him! What are you talking about? Watch him spawn behind me.
Yeah, this is the safest thing to do. Sorry I'm being so quiet, it's just like I'm... <laughs> like yeah, this first part, part is incredibly boring, but like, I, I need to concentrate or I will legitimately just die again. And I won't even be able to make it to the next part, I should... You should patent the name Bobby. <laughs> I don't think you can patent a name. <laughs> Like some some mother going like I'm I'm naming my child Bobby and then, and then Jesus Christ I'm trying to I'm so sorry I'm trying to make a joke but I'm just video games you know <laughs> My joke was gonna be uh, some mother just like, I'm gonna name my child Bobby, and then the IRS just comes down with, Are you sure? <laughs> Would you like to reconsider? Like, yeah, this bottom, but oh. I was like, I don't get why this is here, because there's no spike ball. Well, no, there is a spike ball. The spike ball wants to be dead. Oh, they just go through each other, there's like, no... Like, it specifically spawns the... How fast... Man, this is such a jank. I call, I call it jank, but it's Super Mario World. Sandals legal team. <laughs> Just say how to chew five gum, that's... <laughs> the Magic Koopa is so... Well, no, the Magic Koopa doesn't move, but I mean, the projectiles are so fast. Yeah, while while the, the last castle was frustrating in the sense that I sucked, this one's frustrating in the sense it just isn't designed well. So the first half of the level is an incredibly long waiting room, where, like, nothing's really happening. And yeah, there are obstacles, I, I'll, I'll give them that, I'm not, I'm not saying that's, like, it's boring, but it's just incredibly long. And that's an issue when the second half of your level basically relies on RNG. <laughs> and again, 1990. I mean, it depends on who you are. Like, what, what, what would you say the release date of Super Mario World is? Because, like, the objective answer, I guess, would be the Japanese release date of 1990, but in America it was 1991, and in Europe it was 1992. Piss off, piss off. You spawned inside of-
Jesus Christ. Like, I don't get why this level has such a strict timer, either. Like, yeah, that goes my friggin' mushroom. the real ones remember Goldcraft 2 episode 4 freaks challenges <laughs> when was that four months ago <laughs> most recent episode <laughs> yeah no Goldcraft is likely not getting another at least not on the main channel so you're not getting another episode it's just you know Minecraft is a great game and one that I've played a lot over the years but I, I think I'm fine with leaving it at this and even oh come on oh, sorry I'm... I can't I can't even string a sentence together I should probably go to the super secret zone you know what um if I die again I'm gonna go to super secret zone which yeah is a long walk but I, I need. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. Why are we talking about Linux? Your mom, Reese, my boy. Oh, Ahmed's here! That was my favorite Arch hater. <laughs> I hate Arch, don't we all, except for Sam. What do you mean I... Well, okay, I'm... I'm... I think Arch is okay, but it's a little bit overrated, in my opinion. That's my opinion on Arch. It's perfectly fine, but let's be honest with ourselves here. Debian's where it's at. I, I've, I've probably angered Ahmed again because he said Fedora's peak. <laughs> no, whatever Linux distro is the best is the one that you use. <laughs> this is a skill issue. <laughs> Like, I'm, I just feel Arch is a little bit... So, like, it's pretty technical, but... Like, okay, so let's go, I think, Fireflower and... Oh, this is Feather, okay. I'm not gonna take a Yoshi, because there's no reason for me to. Yeah. Okay. Go back. How I circumvented my school laptop security. But you're streaming for four hours? Apparently, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's no time limit to the stream. It's just I, I stream until I beat the video game. <laughs> That's how the stream goes. I swear, my streams have been getting longer and longer. Remember, remember when my streams were an hour and a half? <laughs> or less? <laughs> Oh, this is this is fun as well. I mean, I I I want to beat the game. I'm just like, ugh, so many deaths. Remember when I had fifty plus lives? <laughs> Good times. I want to be known as someone who uses Arch, by the way. Damning evidence. No, okay. Well, that was six months ago, and since then I've learned a lot more about Linux. <laughs> And I am now a Debian chill. <laughs> no, but 
Arch, no, uh, it, the reason I made that was just like, oh, the reason I made that joke was just as a joke. I was honestly surprised to see how many people were like, sort of sounded kind of pissed off at me for saying that Manjaro is Arch. It's like, it kind of is, like, <laughs> I don't know. It, Like, people seemed legitimately kind of angry at me, and I found that very funny because it was a joke about the uh, I use Arch, by the way. Now imagine caring about being able to say you use Arch. Couldn't be me. Instantly fucking dies. <sighs> yeah, so when I see uh, a power up portal dispensers, isn't it? Very, very fucking nice! I have to walk all the way back now. Wait a second, you can get infinite lives, can't you? Like, really easily. I'm fine with Arch, as I've never had it. Uh, and I've had it break on me. I think the moment Arch breaks on you, is the moment you uh, stop using it. <laughs> I think that's I think that's kind of general practice. You know, like, people go like, oh, Arch, so cool. Bleeding edge, razor's edge, you know? And then... Uh, it breaks. <laughs> Your bootloader decides to disappear with a system update. You like me walking back and forth on the world map from one side to the other? Pardon me. I'm going to beat this game today. I don't care what's going to happen. I will beat the video game. Let's also get a few lives, because I know that if you get Yoshi... Yeah, if you get Yoshi, and then go back into this area, then you can get a new Yoshi, which will turn into a 1-up. <laughs> so we can, we can quickly restock here for a... Uh... I don't even spawn in the middle, so I made it like, as convenient as possible. Oh, sorry, uh... Ahmed, sorry, I, I, missed, I missed some messages. I'm playing a video game, don't... <laughs> don't judge me for, uh... Okay, sorry, uh... I don't like Fedora's Package Manager. I use it in Fedora's... I haven't had any issues with it, but I've just had issues installing Fedora. Like, or not installing it, but like, well, also actually installing it, but on my specific laptop, it's just like video drivers would not work, and no matter what video stuff I would install, it just wouldn't work. Anyway, uh, hopefully in that time you learned that Arch is a steaming pile. <laughs> I, I have learned that Endeavor OS is okay, and that would be the only Arch flavor I'd ever want to use, but it's command line based, first and foremost, which makes me not want to use it. Look, I'm I'm the guy who shells for vanilla OS. Literally immutable Debian, like child the the, the child um, proof version of Debian. I really, really can't wait for it to go into um, into a full release. Because it's in beta right now. It's a pretty stable beta, but I haven't had any issues with it. Just I haven't installed like a video. Nice. No video, exactly. But yeah, I have NVIDIA and sadly I cannot replace it as a uh, laptop. Though yeah, my, my next stuff is going to be AMD. Not, not for Linux reasons, as NVIDIA on Linux is getting better and better, but just... I need to be incredibly careful here. Just uh, 40 series is dog shit. Like, please... Do not buy. Like, I've legitimately tried to steer my friends away from buying 40 series, even on laptops, because I just do not like it. Absolutely despise 40 series. And yeah, RX 7000 series, both of either. I had, had some growing pains. <laughs> the same for ARC. <laughs> Maybe even more so for ARC. Oh, no, 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 don't get the mushroom. 
Oh god, now I'm out running this mushroom. Nice. Because that would have lost me my fire flower, because that's how this game works. I'm not using Linux right now, uh, since I do still have to dual boot for school. I'm generally like I have my Streamlabs on um, on Windows. Oh, oh, good! You can't use a Fire Flower, on them, so I'm still fucking screwed. Nice! I made it to the boss fight, but, um... No power-up. Fuck you! Sorry. Uh, guys got to go by. Uh, have, a, have a good one, Nima. Uh, hope to see you again at some point. Welcome back. I'd like to install my system from a terminal rather than use a graphical installer. The graphical installers are often a lot better, though. Bro, sad that he has NVIDIA, my ass has integrated graphics. <laughs> Have we gone from just such a banger generation of the RX 6000 and RTX 3000 series to the current gen? How far we have fallen? Hopefully, hopefully the next gen is good again. I, I... Well, the thing is, NVIDIA has done this so many times. And yeah, 3000 series was good. Um, I mean, it's still, it's still no 10 series, you know? <laughs> I don't think we're ever gonna get a card like the 1080 Ti again. I love the recent like nostalgia wave of the uh, the GTX 1080 Ti. Like everyone's just like, ah, yes, the best card of all time. And yeah, it, it, it was really good. I, I do agree with that. But yeah, I'm stuck with a mobile 3060. But yeah, 30. The thing is. I don't, I don't really get who buys like high-end graphics cards. Maybe, maybe that's me who doesn't really play modern video games. The only time I was like, oh, my PC is kind of underpowered for this, was uh, Hogwarts Legacy. So, oh, I can get a... Yeah, it was Hogwarts Legacy, and that was like, yeah, that released uh, at just that moment. Yeah, that was a brand new release at that time. And even then, I ran the game perfectly fine at 1080p medium. Like, looked, looked pretty good. I was even DLSSing it up to, to 4K. Uh, but I, I really don't get who needs like an 80 class card. I guess it's for future proofing. You're like, oh, I want to play new games for another 10 years. I guess I'll get a 90 class card or something. But then you're going to be stuck with that power consumption for that long. I feel like it'd be cheaper for you to just upgrade at some point. Like, put down the money and go, okay, we're doing less power consumption now. And yeah, I'd like to have a high-end card. It's nice. But I really don't need anything above, like, a 60 class. Like, as long as you can play a game at medium settings, like, it's playable and it works fine. No, I, look, at what, look at what this 3060 is running right now. Fucking Super Mario World from 1990. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't think it, it's struggling much.
Again, sorry, I'm, I'm quiet. I, I always feel like the silence is deafening at moments like these. Don't hit the block, don't hit the block. I'll get you a mushroom, which is worse than the thing you currently have. Some might say. Okay, second room still have the cape. Okay, you cannot even hit him with a cape feather. Oh, you can hit that with a cape feather, though. Well, nice, nicely done, dipshit. Oh my god, really? Now is when I'm messing up? I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. Oh god, there's a bunch of stuff. 5,000 series... Oh, 50 series confirmed, Meta PC made a video about it. Wow, someone made a video about it, that must mean it's real. <laughs> oh, I didn't even hit it! Oh my god. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> uh, finding it difficult to find a low profile card. You're playing Super Mario World, exactly. <laughs> uh, that doesn't cost $400. Vantage is build a new PC at this point, you pay more for an LP card. Can just reuse the CPU and SSD. Well, yeah, you'd need a new motherboard, but then you'd be paying for. Ah. I I I think, th yeah, I, I I think I said this when you were you were like showing me it. I was like, this might not be the best idea for a for a build. Because, like, you buy that pre-built, and you're kind of stuck with... Because Dell specifically has really, really... Oh, was that a Dell? Was that uh, I think it was a Dell, wasn't it? Um, you're kind of stuck with what's in there. Because if you want, you know, a better power supply, well, whoops, you're going to need... Like, I think those things have proprietary, like, power connectors on the motherboard as well. Like, who does that? Bell, apparently. Maybe, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go full feather. I think I'm gonna go full feather. I'm on a board with at least DDR4 support. Yeah, it's Adele. Man, with that CPU? Either way, be sure to look at second-hand components. eBay and, like, I don't know what you have over there, but if you have, like, Craigslist or, like, the alternative to Craigslist over there, get get it from... get, get your components from there. Unless, like, uh, the only... The only things I wouldn't get there were, would be, I think, storage. Specifically hard drives, but also just in general, I would get storage from, from that. Uh, I'll buy brand new storage, especially since SSDs are dirty. No, I don't want to go back. Especially since SSDs are fucking Dell. <laughs> they do, yeah. Dell is not the best one for for upgrades. Yeah. Either you're kind of stuck with what you have, or basically you need to buy it. Need to build a completely new rig. Because what do you? Wait, okay, like, like you want you wanted to play like Terraria probably, so it's not it's not like you need like a really high end thing for that. Like literally, like a like a ten fifty would be enough. I'd recommend probably a sixteen fifty, or if you really really need like a like a new one, you can get a what do you wanna call it a thirty fifty, or even some AMD cards. You know. RX 550, uh, oh no, 550, uh, 5500. Well, 550 is also pretty good, but the uh, 5500 is what I was thinking. That might probably be a, be a decent card to plunk in there. 
because the 6500 is pretty mediocre but the rx 5500 was pretty good it was like funny enough the 5500 is faster than the 6500 even though it's a generation older and the same class yeah otherwise you could look like a 5600 or a 6600 probably 6600 xt or something I, I'm not entirely familiar with which ones have the XT and which ones do not. I think this the recently they brought out the 7600 XT, I think it was. But they only had a non-XT of that. Basically XT see XT as just the AMD version of TI. That's 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 what I see it as. Let's get rid of these two first. No! Nice! Nice! Nice. I play Doom Eternal and stuff too. Using a 1616, I'm doing fine. Pretty mixed gamer. Doom Eternal, I mean, Doom Eternal can run on a lot, but. Oh, yeah, I don't have a power up, do I? <laughs> nice. Yeah, Doom Eternal can run on a lot as well, so you'd be fine with like a 1650 or a RX 5500. Thing is, like, I, when recommending AMD cards, I'm not entirely familiar with stuff before RDNA uh, because I wasn't, I wasn't really much into uh, GPUs at the time. Well, okay, I was kind of into GPUs at the time. I was like, watching Revenge Tech Tips and stuff, um, but those cards just didn't really come up as much. And especially, you know, pre-RDNA, where it's kind of like a wild west. So I don't know a lot about those cards, and you could probably get a decent deal by snagging, like, some pre-RDNA card. Fuck. Good. Nice. <sighs> and I still need to beat the final level as well. I'm just sitting here, like, raging. Also, why is Halo 3 136 gigabytes? Uh, Master Chief Collection. Yeah. Yeah, Master Chief Collection downloads a lot of stuff you don't need. Which is funny, uh, I once checked. Uh, I, I didn't download this, so I, I, I think it's illegal to look at a pirate, like a pirate piracy website without downloading anything, right? So I once I once uh, was on like a, like a repack site, and they had Halo MCC. Original size, like. 200 gigabytes or something like that, and then like repack size, 10 gigabytes. <laughs> I think it was less than 10 even. <laughs> like so funny, because like these are all such ancient games, and like why even put Halo 4 in there in the first place? No one, no one likes Halo 4. No one plays Halo 4. Release Halo 4 separately for the people who want it. I'm not one of those. I specifically paid more money for MCC just so I didn't have Halo 4. Like, it's just like, you know, MCC, the Master Chief Collection, the best Halo games, and Halo 4. <laughs> it's also there, you can see how, how, how it fell off. Like, I'm, I'm a very big supporter of, like, you know, at some point, you should end the series. 
and you know something like Mario, no, that that doesn't that doesn't make sense there. But if it's like a reasonably story heavy series, at some point it needs to end. This is why Kingdom Hearts is a problem, because they are still making Kingdom Kingdom Hearts games, and they have made a lot of them. And if you want to start playing now, sucks to be you. You have to play all of the other ones. So it's just. It's, it's just dumb. They're apparently making the fourth one now. Or well, the fourth one, that's about the 40th one. <laughs> yeah. Man, I, I, I didn't expect this castle to be this much of a hassle. Like, it's not even, like... The issue isn't this first half. Well, the issue is that this first half takes this fucking long. I'll be honest, I'm getting a, a bit annoyed. Uh, not specific. Well, it's kind of the game's fault. <laughs> like last time it was like, okay, I'm not performing well, but this is. This is just the game being bullshit. Like, the Magic Koopa enemy is way, way too overpowered. Why did I do that? Why did I. Why did I open that box? Am I actually going to manage to dodge the mushroom? No, I did not. Well, there goes my second cape feather. There goes my cape feather. Yeah, so I'm literally already in the first... In the situation I would be in in the first place anyway. So that's nice. Do you think there's something down there? Wait, what? There's a checkpoint in this level? You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Oh my god, that's evil. That's really benevolent, but really evil at the same time. Oh. Was he okay? He was he was having a bit of 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 a fuck you. Uh, bit of a please let me in. Let me in. Oh now, oh now I go through when there's a magic coupe on the other side who wants to wants me dead. nice. Can you time out during a boss fight? If so, that's, uh... Suddenly things are going well? Sudden, suddenly, suddenly mushroom into the boss fight? Get... No! Fuck! Well, now we have a checkpoint! Now we have a checkpoint! I'm always told to buy NVIDIA and never AMD. People are just a bit jaded. People are dumb. <laughs> no, look. NVIDIA is the most popular, which means you'll see... ...better support of their features, I guess. And they also have a lot of proprietary features because they are market leader. They can get away with stuff like that. Like DLSS being proprietary and stuff like that. Like he spawned inside of me. What am I supposed to do? What do you What do you want me to do? Well, I made that. And I'm actually surprised I did. Piss off! Please die! Why is there a door that goes to the next area of the castle? There we go. Wow, I'm not even relieved. <laughs> I'm 
I don't care. I it's such a cheap shot. Like I feel like I I feel like I've been slapped in the face by the game. Going like, here's the checkpoint. Uh, it's it's down there. You you wasted like thirty of your lives for no reason. Anyway, um. <laughs> <laughs> Sad that we believe in you. Reach is way better. I like all of them. Oh, my look, oh, my look, oh, my look. I forgot about King of It's still running, ruining characters. <laughs> Do you have any plans for doing multiplayer games? They're the best to stream. Ah, uh, we could. We could. Uh, like, you know what you know would be interesting? To do another Goldcraft stream. <laughs> Continue and save. Ah, incredible. Small Mario and Yoshi's or something else in it. Let's just go through the first door. I don't remember which one leads to where, so I might as well just. Fuck. <laughs> nice. That's <laughs> yeah, baby. That's what I'm waiting for. That's what it's all about. I love that clip because like the dog just comes over there because he's just like excited. <laughs> he's like, yeah. <laughs> and he goes, woo! <laughs> Fuck. Oh, okay. <gasps> Let's go to the first one. I don't know which one's like the most difficult, which one's the easiest, but I'll just do the first challenge. Which... Okay, are we ready? Ready to play! Fuck, that's not how this works. We're almost at the end of the game. Well, we were almost at the end of the game last level as well, but... Okay, at least I know what to do in this, this area. Fuck. How am I supposed to even do that? Sandal one much. I I can't I can't do that. I don't Well I don't know how to do that. But I think the main issue is just how would I send it to you? <laughs> You're on the other side of the planet. <laughs> Fuck! I was just waiting for them to go. I just ah. Oh. Sent you a DM, Sandal. Ah, uh, that's 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 good. Uh, n next stream will be some point. I'm not gonna stream on Friday because I'm gonna upload a video. But we'll see. And there is another single player game I want to play before then. How did that not kill me? Okay, here, we are safe. We are. <laughs> it, was a, it was one. one jump. Yeah, multiplayer games are fun. Stream. Just haven't really uh, done many. Oh, I've, I've done a few. This is really close. Like, just also watch out that I'm not going to go into like single digits of uh, lives. Then again, I did save just now, so I, I think it's fine if I game over. Let's go to room two. <laughs> this is obviously not going well. Oh. It's like based on different castles, like their, their gimmicks. Wow, is that really it? That is so much easier than the other one. 
Second, second door, best door. Oh god. Wait, this is water? What is this, like, Super Mario Bros. 1? So it just has, like, a random water level in the middle of the, uh, the final castle. Sometimes I don't get their hitboxes. Super Sandal. Super Sandal Bros. New Roma hack. Okay, so two is the easiest of this. This one's almost brain dead easy. Like, yeah, there's some obstacles. Watch me die. <laughs> Watch me die. Wouldn't surprise me, to be honest. Okay, let's try the third door. So that would be number seven. Oh, wait, there is a number eight. Interesting. Hello there. Oh, these guys jump. Oh, they kill me. <laughs> Holy shit. What's funny about this one is like there's there's a one that you can go like to the other side of the Yeah, all the Koopas are on the back side, so like why would you switch? Why would you do that? Super Sandal Bros. Rom hack would be based. Place all those annoying text blocks. <laughs> oh, remember? Oh, well, I say remember. Uh, does anyone know about... Oh, well. That There was that one Super Mario World Rom hack by um, the guy, like, the, the Field of Koopas guy. Tucker Friend person. God damn it. That was just, like, the funniest thing of all time. I, I really liked that. Um... No problem, hack. <laughs> I'm a Wii U owner, not a Satanist. Yeah, that's exactly what those sh should say. <sighs> things are gone. Things are gone slowly, but things are gone. We are getting somewhere. I'm not gonna go into the charging truck room. I think this room is probably my best bet. Just like... Full on... Send it. Oh! <sighs> that was, um... Okay, we have... Oh no, turn on the light. We have some ninjis, which never... I don't think it ever reappeared in a mainline Mario. No, they're in wonder! I'm stupid. Hello. Throw him! There we go. He's in the middle of them now. Like, I don't want to die. That's the thing. <laughs> this is my weapon. I am heavy weapons guy. And this is my weapon. <laughs> Why did I throw him in the lava? What if there's more veggies? Oh, we made it! I don't have any power-ups! There we go, we're at the final boss! Okay, I don't have any power-ups at the moment, and I don't remember his... Tactics that well. That was like a big bowling ball. Oh yeah, no, you you take this and you. Yeah, let's fully redo the entire level from the beginning. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Yeah, yeah. That Koopa kill was out of spite. <laughs> Out of pure, unfiltered anger. There we go.
not angry, just disappointed. I'm... I'm tired. <laughs> I want to beat this game. Remember, remember when the stream started as a... as a way to analyze this game's design? I'm tired. <laughs> also, I'm, I'm kind of hungry. I'm, uh, I know there's some food waiting for me. Well, not waiting for me, I have to make it. <laughs> It is there. Physically, it is there. It's not, it's not edible yet, but... Well, edible. Depends on your definition of... Uh, okay. Not doing that yet. How did I even survive that? Interesting how Mario himself is not dark, you know? When when not under light, I don't mean like I I just know like five years from now someone's gonna watch it on like the dark what does he mean? Skin color funny No. Not funny. Opposite of funny. Oh. Well hello there. I can also do this, which... <laughs> nice. Hey, can we get like a checkpoint or something, please? But she doesn't also have like a hidden checkpoint that like... Only pros will be able to find this fucking dipshit. Aha, uh -huh, you got an ad. <laughs> get... Get... <laughs> get added. <laughs> Get added, bro. Okay. I've always found this such a menacing Bowser fight. Like, legitimately. I don't think he can even hit me a small Mario. Without me jumping, of course. Which I must mean did. Has to be, has to be like from the top. Okay. Well, at least I know that now. Still does it anyway. How many hits does he take? Also, I think he gives a mushroom. Or well, he doesn't. Peach does, but. I've always found that such a menacing boss fight. Probably one of the more menacing Bowser boss fights. I've, uh... Oh yeah, the fucking bowling ball over here. Somehow has that in this freaking clown car. Come on, throw your bowling balls. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of your balls, Bowser. <laughs> Why did I say that? There we go. Is it two or is it three? No, it's 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 two. Two per phase, I think this is the last phase? Oh, how did I do that? Oh, how did that not hit me? Game is suddenly... Crushed it on. So 
suddenly things aren't looking as rosy. Actually, things are looking a lot less rosy. <laughs> I knew it was too good to be true. Yep, we don't have checkpoints. God forbid we have one of those. Where's chat? Chat just disappeared. Where's, where's, where's chat? Apparently the entirety of chat is now gone. Erased from existence. Yeah, sometimes that literally just happens and it goes like, Yeah, haha, funny, uh, no. <laughs> This game is now analyzing you. Beat the game and then another hour of stream. God, no. How long have I been going on for? Five hours or something? It's legitimately absolutely ridiculous. You cannot pay me. For, like, I need... I, you, you, I, I need food. <laughs> it's five. I just had to do that, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my god, come on. Cooking stream. No, I'm not gonna do a cooking stream. Hear me out, we can door dash you. No, that's... That's not... I'm just like... Uh, when... When is this going to end? <laughs> that's my question. <laughs> I... I don't know... I can't just end the stream now, you know, we, we have to... we have to actually play the video game. We have to finish the video game. The video game has to be over. Oh, uh, excuse me for just one uh, small second. Mum's home. <laughs> it took me this long to stream. <laughs> I am back. Oh my god, I have three pings on Discord. I really hope that was not something that I... Oh wait, I have to, I have to turn this again. I assume I don't know what it is. I don't have... Time. Well, I do have time. I have plenty of time, but not... I don't know. I... My brain's fried. <laughs> like, legitimately, I... You know what? Let's, let's just do... Yeah, big fucking jump. There we go. Problem solved. We don't need to kill the ninjas. We do need to kill this guy. He ate my sandwich. So he has to die. There we go. Okay. Um, let's try this again. Third, third time's the charm, you know? 100% more from all coins. <laughs> I didn't even get close to a full... Like, I think, what is it, 98 exit or something? 98 exits in this game. Okay, we need to be careful. Careful. Fucking hell! Is there really no checkpoint in this level? Are you, like, serious? Like, I'm not gonna take a different path, because I'm like... You know... I don't know, I have eight lives left as well. Things are not... Things are not looking... looking that, that good at the moment. I, uh... I'm afraid to say. I'm professional. Absolute professional. Okay, 
big fuck jump. Get him, everything's okay, everything's alright. Yeah, he's drowning in the lava. I'm so proud of him. Is there really nothing? I seem to remember there being more to this room. Okay, let's let's go. Let's go murder a lizard. Like I just need to be incredibly careful until he uh, until I do his first phase. So I just need to be. Okay, you know what? Let's just full silence, full send it. That's one. That's two. Okay. We have a mushroom now. We have some form of defense. Well, uh, we're not guaranteed one just yet. Yes. Do something. That clown car face is fuck. Fuck no. This is not. Okay. The clown car's face is like He knows my pain. He knows he knows. Just me, or is it like? There we go. Okay, we just need to jump, I guess. But jumping is dangerous. He's he's higher up than he was before. This fucker here. Just stand in between them. There we are. All the tools we need to win. No, not anymore. Is that it? Oh my god, I think we did it. <laughs> Yes! This is not the first time I've beat Mario World, uh, but... Hey, this was what I originally wanted the stream to be. Uh, this was a lot longer than I expected. What was this, like, five hours? I mean, maybe six? <laughs>
I don't know. Uh, um, I have something cool for you post stream. Stream title: Princess offers shrooms to plumber. <laughs> Ah, yeah. oh, there we go. There's the fireworks. Yeah, I remember this. This was this was nice. This is nice. This is long, not all the content this game has to offer, and I'm sorry. I well, okay. I'm I'm sorry more so to myself for not being uh, as design oriented and like looking at like what design does this game actually have by the end because I, I kept dying uh but yeah I, I i have the main parts of this basically the first hey actually this stream kind of fits into the way the game works first half of the stream incredibly technical uh oh incredibly pretty technical playthrough of it with like looking at design looking at stuff you know, systems and stuff and mario and system program well there you go systems uh <laughs> Looking at that kind of stuff, and in the second half of the stream, just absolute rage. <laughs> well, more so absolute disappointment. <laughs> but yeah. Just like this game, having every level basically be two gimmicks in one, with some levels having sequels. It's kind of weird, but... Makes sense. It's just very different from what modern Mario does. Uh, it's more so similar to what modern Donkey Kong Country does, or specifically Tropical Freeze. I'm not that familiar with Returns' design. I'm, I, I've played Returns, but I've, I'm, I can't really remember if Returns does something similar to this. But Tropical Freeze specifically has like three or so gimmicks, and then at the end they'll like combine them in like a cool ending bit. This doesn't do that last bit, but it does do... sort of... Day... wait, Davey Brooks as in... What, the, what, the word day and then V? Huh. Oh, that's Shigeru Miyamoto. He's, uh... He's some... Oh, Alex is playing Brawlhalla. What a perfect way to end the stream. Anyway. <laughs> worth the three dollars. Worth 300. Till enough. <laughs> Another hour. God, no, please. How long... I legitimately don't know how long I've been gone on for, but I need food. I need sustenance. There we go. The end of the game. Oh yeah, Baby Yoshi's a thing. We didn't even do anything with those. I, I, I don't even remember. I don't even think we like gone to a level which has one of those. And we have all the enemies. Para Goomba. No, that's a Galoomba. That's not a Goomba. That's a Galoomba. Ah, oh, that amazing flying hand. No, those aren't the ones I was talking about. The amazing flying hand bros. The 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 big fat guys, sumo bros, aren't they? No, yeah, sumo brother. Yeah, I was I was right, sumo brother. Hey, <laughs> I st I still got it. Like yeah, Pokey, Monty, Mole, Bullet Bill. I know I'm bad, obviously. But no, I'm not. I'm sorry. Like even if you if you donate more now, I'm not gonna do more today. You might be able to get me to do a stream on Friday, but... <sighs> Wait, no, on Friday... No, yeah, no. On Friday, we're going somewhere, I think. If I remember correctly. Some some friend of my dad's invited us somewhere. You know, I'll do, I'll do some more streams, even when, when school starts. Like, I, you know, I have people I actually have to... You know, there, there are people who have given me money. They, they need to get the proper content, you know? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this game is like absolutely timeless. It's really good. I like it. I, I, I'm happy I have nostalgia for this game because it's, it's, it's really nice. Three people who stuck around. I can imagine most people not stuck, sticking, not, not stucking around, not, not sticking around for the whole thing because I don't know how long we've been going for. I'll check in a second once the game's done, once the credits are done. Well, you know, we need to credit Ball and Chain and Grinder, of course. <laughs> And Resnor. Are there more optional Resnor fights? I think there are, because we only fought Resnor once. Alex is now playing Euro Truck Simulator. Wow, quick, quick, quick turnaround on that. Impressive. Very impressive. Okay, have we gone through? And there we have all the Koopa Lakers and Bowser. They're all the designs, you know. The end. This is always such a janky art. Hey. I believe this is where the game stops. Uh, so, I, oh well, not stops. There's nothing that happens. It doesn't matter what you press. The game's, <laughs> the game's like we're done. Uh, anyway, 
I want to thank you all so much for watching. And we have been going for, f no, not five hours, not quite five hours, four hours and 42 minutes. As the W's team. Thank you so much for, for that, Vanta. And of course, thank you to Dylan as well for being being around and also being a member. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty member heavy chat at the moment. But yeah, five people. Some people joined in right at the end. I'm so sorry to say it, but the game's over. <laughs> we have finished it. Uh, you can always watch the VOD if you like, or you can wait till Friday and watch the new Sandal Channel video, and with that I mean new DView video. Hey, hey, look out for that. Gonna be exciting. Anyway, I do have to go now. Uh, so thank you all so much for sticking around. Uh, this has been a great stream, as per usual. And uh, I will see you all next time, whenever that may be. Not exactly sure, but I'll see you all next time. Goodbye! Oh god, Vanta has one more question. Fine, okay, Vanta, one more, one more question. Go on. We usually do something after I say goodbye, but go, go, go on, go on. If, if, if it's a quick question. Is the behind-the-scenes video dropping soon? Yes, I need to ask some more people permission, uh, and then I might just upload it as is, because it's it's pretty good. So it's, it's coming soon, and it's members-exclusive, so make sure you're a member. Anyway, <laughs> goodbye, lads.